We've dueled to save the world. We've dueled to graduate high school. But that was the past. And this is the era of Turbo Duels. Join us as Shibuya Gato. You know, if I had a nickel for every property that prominently featured motorcycles and took advantage of the Nazca lines from their myths, uh, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but Kamen Rider Double kind of the goat. <laughs> Shora. Why do we keep releasing our monsters? It just sounds gross. Calamity Carl. I hate the way that you call yourself king. I hate the way you use my dragon. I hate the way you ride my bike. I hate your dumbass bedroom. Bio Roxas. You say it's actually like, please don't try and dump on me. I don't care if you were in a closet for two days. And KZ Excellent. There's probably like nose trimmers and like Neo Domino City you could buy instead of whatever he was doing. Use the power of the Millennium Microphone to race to the finish and discover what the five Ds even means. Anyway, the music ran out I too soon, so it's good. fine. What's up, everybody? I hate the way that I, you're a signer before me. I hate the way you gave me a tattoo. I just thought of a fucking last minute edit, and I have to work on that real quick. That's awesome. I love when that happens. Let's go. You see, the, the reason that there might be a chance that we just you know, stop at 5Ds is because once we reach, like, the fifth series, Shibuya will say 55 paragraphs in the intro setup. <laughs> and, we, and we'll just not have music long enough. We'll be like, we went to the grocery store, we went to space, but this time, we're gonna duel. <laughs> now, in fairness, I had no good ideas for intro quotes. I just sort of had to figure out something and... You know. I wrote mine, like, right before we started. Oh, no, I meant the intro, intro part. <laughs> that's oh. fair. That's, that's we absolutely went to school, fair. We saved the world. We went to the 7-Eleven. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I, I was working out a fucking intro quote, but then I realized, oh, no, this would make a better edit. <laughs> that's awesome. I had two. Because one of them was my daughter's screaming in the background right now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but then she stopped. So I was like, okay, I can go with my original one. And then she. You're she like, oh, there everything. we go. Ah, oh, this was such a simple fucking edit. Oh, How did I not think of it during the episode? Shib, I'm DMing it to you right now. All right, now. hit me. I'll, I'll, th I'll just throw it up on screen now. Fuck it. Uh... <laughs> it's for the first episode, too, so it's perfect. Let's see. What are we all doing? God damn it. That is really simple. Fucking hell. All right. <laughs> I do love it though. That's a banger. I'm doing it, Carl. Please be excited. Um, Let hear that bio. Just went to the me beach. Before you post it, I'm gonna do the thing. Yeah, good, good. Uh, as soon as it shows up on the screen, I need you to have that button ready. Do you have that button ready, Shara? No, oh, no. I have that button ready. All right. Yes. Three, two, one, hit it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That fucking kicks ass. <laughs> Let's go. That's so good. All right, I'm uh, I'm renaming it and I'm setting it up in the sources. The other one's gonna have to be really good because I feel like there's a chance that that's already won. Wait, what? Wait, I know. Wait, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw that on uh, I saw that on Twitter or something about like advertisements. Yes. So in. In uh, Latin American countries, I forget if it was specifically Brazil or if it was just a bunch of them. Um, it's uh, it's not Brazil. It's somewhere else, I think. Okay. Um, for certain TV airings of Star Wars, what they would do is that they would edit around it and sort of, like, recreate uh, the color grading and the costumes to advertise Cerveza Cristal. And it's the funniest <laughs> possible shit. Because it'll just be, like... You know, Luke is uh is playing with the lightsaber, talking about shit, and then it'll just cut from Obi Wan explaining shit to him to Obi Wan grabbing something out of a cooler, <laughs> and he picks so, it up and he points. It the yeah, it's like in just integrating the commercials as if they're just a part yeah. of the film, actually. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah, oh, yeah. In, essentially, in Chile, they decided uh fucking like fuck cutting to advertisements. Just like Let's just because that's the fucking name of the country, Chile. <laughs> Can we have a natural sounding conversation on this show ever? Sometimes. <laughs> Very rarely, though. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Are any of us normal? No. no. God, no. 
That's part yes. of the charm is that we're all fucking insane. Yeah. There's a lot of we being thrown around in a lot of these. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're not throwing your Wiimote, you're failing to do your job. A we know. I don't even have any of those. A That's we fucked knows. up. You should get one. We knows. A we knows. How are we doing? Um, How was your I'm, week, Carl? I'm still reeling. I'm good. Yeah? Uh, because what the fuck you do fishing? you mean? Uh, no, I'm not fishing for anything. What I am not is yet. Uh, losing my mind that Clear World is getting fucking support. What do you mean at Clear World? Yeah. Of all things. What's there to be shocked about? As you've seen, every time we did something in Mill Mike GX, they would adapt cards that we covered. In the in their GX, we had kept going up. We got Dark Guardian or whatever. We got the Gate Guardian yeah. stuff or whatever. Yeah. We got that U Bell support. Now we got this Clear World thing that Bio probably doesn't even remember what it is. <laughs> yeah. What so uh, Clear World is a deck used by one of the final villains of GX. It's it's the motherfucker who uh, was a nihilist, <laughs> and his his entire thing as a villain was that he was a nihilist. Oh, I remember him. Yeah. Yeah. See, so his you remember deck. all those, you remember all those monsters where they were like looked like they were in ice cubes. They they're putting those out. I don't remember that. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try okay. to find a photo. No, that makes sense. Ice they ice were playing Hold the on. game at that point. There was no fucking thought you were gonna remember. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Right. I actually got mad in this episode because uh, spoilers for my notes section. Ooh. Uh, that they're shitty my favorite part. That shitty little old man pulled out his fucking cards and I was like those are those dog shit garbage doo doo ass cards in Maze of Millennia I kept pulling that's very funny Whoa. I think I ripped one of them in half because I got so mad at it that's dude you're, you're just you're just like this ugly dude with the worst hair I've seen yet you are the just doll. a little hater honestly I think you have, need to have more love in your heart for uh, you know Indiana you Jones for the crystal skull <laughs> no I don't think yes. I will we're gonna lock you in a fucking fridge in a second girl no <laughs> God. No, let me out! No. Now, for as How much as these cards kind of just though? suck in general, you have to admit, Clear Rage oh. Golem kind of goes oh, crazy. Me oh. He does. It's kind of neat. Me out Do you hear anything right now? No. Get me out of okay. Now, you, you may want to check if uh, there's not, like, electronics running in the back. Might be that. Oh. All right, I'll be, I'll be right back, then. Oh, Hold please. on. I can't believe that they actually took these fucking Clear World cards and made them better than they were in the fucking anime. That smells like old apple cider. I keep, I keep hearing it. I think there's a lobster. Yeah, in I here. don't know, man. You might, you might have don't something keep in your lobster walls. In the fridge. You might have a rodent problem. Uh, you, should, also, you should get that checked out. Let's not talk you. about any Jeez. any potential infestations in this place. Um, it's okay, I got I'm out. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go. Anyway. Um, yeah, fuck her. All right. Yeah. But yeah, they they made these. <clears throat> cool look at them uh yeah visually they cube. look great um the idea yeah. that clear world may get support and come to the tcg is a little insane it it's really wild to me that like not only is it fucking support for clear world of all things it's support for an archetype that most of the fucking U.S. wouldn't even really know about, considering we didn't get that fucking season. That's why they waited until we covered it on Mill Night. That way more <laughs> exactly. people know about the it. The clues were literally Shit, there. It's like, know? hey, gay guardians are kind of, you know, they're kind of rough. They came out in, like, the first set. Can we do something with this? And we cover that content, there it is. Yeah. John Konami, this is day 475 of asking you for more tune support. John Konami, <laughs> if you'd like to give us any any kind of Sorry, way to... you're at the back of the line. Shibuya, you cannot say that you just got white support. You just got white what? lord. I don't think the whites need I more wasn't support. Gonna I, I ask forgot about that's the what whites, that archetype was called. I was like, oh, I thought are you, you did. calling him this white is... now? What the fuck happened? <laughs> why why do you think that everything is about whites, huh? Well, I thought because I know that you like uh, yeah, fucking white baking I, and skull serving. Look, I do, I do like it when the white boy starts baking yams in the middle of an open pit in a public park. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Really fun. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I was gonna say John Kirk. Konami, if you want uh, to sponsor <laughs> us at any point. Oh yeah, that's that's a much on, better thing to do. Call us, we're free. <laughs> John Konami, if you could do me a favor and make Gem Knights not fucking dog shit doo doo garbage, please, I'm begging you. No, dark scorpions are next. I'm sorry. Oh man. The retrain of Chick the Yellow is really going to go off. 
I, I hope so, because that'd be funny. Outside of that, we all good? I will say, I will say we are not going to run into the thing that was happening with GX with 5Ds, where you go, oh shit, what 5D support is going to pop up? They already did that. They did that like two years ago. <laughs> okay, but what if they had they, a they've been like going backwards show wise they already they already hit them up not even just two years ago they like Ms. millennia came out in february and or january oh, and that had fucking ashoka pillar and shit in it uh okay i, I keep thinking about um what's it all all of the you say and uh jack centric stuff uh, they they also just and, oh, and also stuff. the black wing centric stuff as well. you know what you say that we're gonna get a go uh, we're gonna get a fucking goyo guardian retrain watch no cool no, don't manifest oh, man. that. I'm uh, I'm looking at our chat, which if you are uh, watching this on YouTube, you should be watching us live every Saturday. Every other Saturday, we do this. Yep. Not uh, every Saturday. That'd be scary. We announced. Uh, and they're asking how uh, they're asking how I like snake every eyes. Every Saturday, stare at the screen. There's nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just staring at it, like hyperventilating a little. <sighs> My move. Look how much up soon. <laughs> Can you imagine? But I, I do think that's. I, I hope the Snake Eyes gets more support. And Snake Eyes as a deck is still meta defining. It's still one of the best Great. decks you could run right now. They're also still nine hundred dollars. Yeah, of course. When they're meta, they're I hope expensive. Not. I have a. I have a fucking genuine hope. Every time a new set releases, that whatever expensive card in that set will fucking crash and burn. <laughs> I hope so too. Can I tell you that I just started building like three more decks. Jesus Christ, bro! Are you okay? You're like this podcast boring. Hold up, let me pull up the, you're pull gonna up be the deck ruins. menu. Uh, I mean, look, it's not my fault that I really want to play Tier Limit. It just is my fault that I really want to play Tier Limit. And also, this happens to him all the time. He fish. always survives. I was there for the buying belts and lock seeds, and that one time he bought three cars. And when did I buy three cars? Are. Cars? I assume shift yeah. cars. No, just like Toyota. Huh? You weren't supposed to know about those. Those are my burners. <laughs> They're rentals. It's not like it's like brand new. I mean, yeah. Can't let them know about the Bugatti. Yeah, the Bugatti. Yeah. Bugatti. Pregnant Mine's pause. Like, yeah. Bugatti. There we go. Bugatti, get off this fucking bit. Hey, yeah. you know what we're supposed to be doing on this podcast? <laughs> yeah, what? Hey. We are talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go. Oh, we're wow. supposed to be talking about the anime. Yu -Gi -Oh. Hey, look, it's Yu-Gi-Oh 5D's episode 6, right, Facility wait. Part 1. Fuck All you. Right, uh, do my job for me, I guess. Go ahead, post it. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in our last episode, a climactic duel between Yusei and Jack occurred. A red dragon it? popped out. It was Did crazy. It? Yusei oh, had yeah. a little bit of a stroke. It's no big deal. He's fine. And hey, now he's in prison. So that's fucking great. Uh, immediately we get a fucking like fucking dub versus sub thing because uh, -huh. hey, in in the in the sub, the Japanese version they fucking just they're doing this whole fucking thing seriously. You say is handcuffed to a fucking chair. The judge is reading him all of his fucking rights and just being pissed off and shit. Uh, in the dub, immediately we're just going, we just get this fucking judge going, oh, this, look at him, he's just a boy, I fucking dually, this is fine, oh, he was trespassing, oh, he's a fucking satellite, get him the fuck out of here, we fucking hate satellites in this house. Yeah, let me share my screen so you can see my funny notes. Oh, okay, sure. All right. I'm always, I'm always happy to see point, what, but, um, what people yeah. thought they needed to read. Yeah, I titled this up, the judge I looked at the, uh, yeah, I looked at the episode title of this and I wrote down a look at my treasured dick. Now, That's uh, awesome, Carl, quick man. question. Yeah, what's up? Oh, fuck. Uh, I have your audio on. What are you listening to? <laughs> Give me Fortnite right. speed up TikTok version. For reference, <laughs> I'm going to slowly Christ. turn the audio up so the chat and the audience are here. <laughs> I clicked gonna... it and immediately felt overwhelmed. I'm just gonna put a fucking picture of this on Twitter real quick. Oh. <laughs> oh, He's just this. fucking kicking it. I hate this, bro. He is kicking it. However, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna post die. that in the chat if people want to <laughs> see what the fuck we just saw. That was. That was rough. 
It was awesome. <sighs> so, um, so yeah, if I, if <laughs> trying to you move say on. he's in prison now. I'm sorry, that just <laughs> fucking like yeah, no, that's quite a bit the out of call. Me. We need a minute to recover, but we also have to keep the shit moving. It's it's tough. We move. As someone who only watched the version that was real and not the the, the clown version they put on American TV, when <laughs> when they put on the when they put on like the you're in prison paint, did they? Did they cut up the the frames of animation that show that it's clearly incredibly hot for like ten frames? Oh yeah, because yeah. when they, they, they spray it on, it out. changes they... slightly to hot red, showing that it clearly is branding them. They make a joke up. They make a joke about it in the fucking dub. Uh, yeah. In in the sub, in the sub, you say screams in fucking pain. Yeah. In the dub, yeah. he just makes a snide little. Is this supposed to tickle? Yeah. <sighs> also, a fucking apparently, according to the English dub, it's just die. It's it's not like a a permanent mark or something. It's just like referred to as die. <laughs> nah, that shit's a fucking full ass tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice hot die. Uh, also, in the sub, the judge actually fucking outright says that the mark means that you say has quote no rights to livelihood. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep. You're basically subhuman. Crime doesn't pay. Just don't cr fucking trespass or we'll execute you via electrocution. I believe it's this episode they describe what the uh, the order of operations are for what you do when you get arrested for doing this, which I thought was very funny, where they put you into a facility for a month for re-education. And then you work at a factory for six months, and then they chuck you back to the satellite. Yeah. And they, like, take your cards for whatever reason? They're like, no. Well, because people no aren't dueling. allowed to have cards. No phone. Uh, people from satellite yeah, you're not aren't allowed, allowed to have, to have cards, cards in satellite, so. Duel. It's fucked up. The they only just, people who so are allowed to own that shit are the ones who live in New Domino and are allowed to live in New Domino. Yeah. I can't stand this fucking geezer. Oh, what's, what's wrong with fucking old man? You hate Yanagi? He's old. Yeah, was... yeah and? Yeah, no sh Yeah, no shit. Probably smells like rotten roast beef. Yeah. That's being generous, Surprisingly, I think. All his cards like suck. Even cheese. Surprisingly, uh, one of the... Maybe they don't they suck don't based on things though. that happen. I don't know about that. Uh, you say he's just like, and every card has a use, and I'm like, no, no some of them are actually just bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he shows it every time he plays with shitty cards in this set. Yeah. <laughs> I, I respect the hustle of you say lying like that, but, <laughs> like... <laughs> Bro, just because you can make it work doesn't mean that it's good. I mean, when your opponent is going, hey, I'm just going to use fucking Vanilla Monster Ushi Oni from 2002, you probably can win <laughs> hey, with you anything. Don't understand. He's a former pro duelist. Hey, you, you don't understand. He had to smuggle something into jail, and the only thing he could get away with smuggling on a bribe was Vanilla Card Ushi Oni from 2002. Now, Even the guards you may think it's like, like that, but I think this. in a flashback, the dude... <laughs> The dude was still using Jirai Gumo. This dude, no wonder he lost to Jack Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's coming in with battle ox and going, I just that, don't get how this is that, not working right now. That <laughs> reminds me of this guy. One time I went to my locals, this dude came in with no joke, a like almost straight up Kaiba structure deck from the start of the series. No. Holy dude. shit. And he's sitting down just like dueling everyone playing modern decks and he's like, I think I need to get new cards. And we're like, yeah. Holy yeah. And, and they're like, you yeah, do. you just tribute summoned for rude Kaiser. <laughs> he was literally doing that. And they're like, oh, no, he doesn't know chat. Imagine having to learn all of that shit since then. No, I, I can't. I can be patient. Uh, um, So... You say he's getting arrested. Meanwhile, Jack fucking Atlas in his in in his top in floor, his ideal male super living spacious. space. Okay, well you didn't have to spoil the fucking edit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I thought about making the same fucking edit. Holy shit! Well, yeah, the I... joke is right there. 
<laughs> I hate dude, his I love his fucking house, dude. It's so stupid. It's so fun. What I is the angle here? What room. is the perspective? How would do that? <sighs> how so how is this room meant funny. to look? Bed in the middle on an angle. We got the bar. We got some cabinets. We got the door with a giant slit in the middle to. What do you, to you in. What do you think? Uh, what do you think those lamps are plugged into? You think it's an outlet on the floor or on the side of the bed? Uh, no, I think there's a little gap in the nightstand that puts the cable, uh, down through, mm -hmm. uh, because he put the bed right near the outlets. The outlets uh, are in the middle of the floor, in yeah. the middle of the room, for some fucking reason. Yeah, See, that or it could be like batteries. See, I want somebody battery to do their best to like read. Shit. You just yeah. unlocked a memory of me watching like PewDiePie playing Outlast and going batteries. Oh god! <laughs> hey, hey, be a bro, not a barrel. Uh, this can we go back to Scooby Fortnite real quick? Uh, oh yeah, hold on. on. Right. This motherfucker's when you guys didn't like watch PewDiePie when you were growing up. No. I knew people. I'm gonna be honest. I, never did. I got scared. I forgot I was watching Carl stream. I have it very <laughs> quietly. He's playing fucking Skibbity Fortnite back. again. Just wanted you to know. <laughs> if you want to Ugh. I love this fucking dude who keeps shouting about momentum. Mm-hmm. Sham Sham will go on. Oh, zigzag. Uh, in the sub, he reminds me of Brooke from One Piece. Sounds almost the same. I get it. I can kind of hear. I don't it. know if it's the same VA. I don't think it is, but it'd be crazy it's if it was. Probably the same VA, because it's Sean Shemmel playing Zig Six. Let's see. IMDb Cho. I'm guessing he's. Yeah, I think he's also One, Rook. Two. Yeah. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. All right. Well, in the meantime, uh, so you hey, talk about the episode. Off. What are you doing? Oh yeah, we get to meet Tanner. Yeah. <clears throat> quirky little dude. It's kind of creepy. Oh my he god, he's so little. quirky. Huh? He ain't that little. <laughs> he ain't that little. <laughs> I knew and that he's busting his pee and he's busting his penis out, and that's why he got captured by Sector <laughs> Security. Uh, Actually, that's why that he was able like... to get his deck through because they were too focused on the other thing. Right? I don't yeah, know if it's this episode like or a it. later one, but he's like feeling up Yusei's chest with his finger. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it was a little strange. Less, yeah. less yeah. quirky. A little, a little bit. Weird. Yeah, a little Drake like. Please don't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. I know uh, I noticed it in animation error in this first episode. Yeah. Which was pretty interesting. Like the old man, I think it's like Yanagi or whatever, is like he goes and starts straddling the cell door. And they just forgot to draw his socks for like one entire like sequence. That's Let's funny. go free the grippers. And, and I and I went, oh, I guess he just fucking is vibing out here in prison in sandals. And then when it cut back, he's just wearing like socks up to the knee. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, how'd you do that between cuts? <laughs> he's like, sorry, I got cold when you started talking. I started getting the vapors. I can't believe that this random old man you say met in jail knows more about how to get the, the dragon to appear than the motherfucker who's been in a secret society. That yeah, shit is insane. This guy goes on Wikipedia. I can't believe that Crystal Skull is somehow considered a fucking illegal magical relic. I love that. That's just like, <laughs> it, just, it looks like he summons the skull emoji. This old dude's got a fucking account on Truth Social. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. What is that? Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm not worried worry about, about it. it. I re we, wait, no, we, wait, what is it? Don't. No, stop it! I Truth think we're good, social. man. <laughs> we're gonna be on the first episode of this until fucking 10pm. Uh, oh, the uh, first, one of the things, uh, Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Damn That's it. Yeah. awesome, dude. Exactly Jesus what I wanted Christ. to think I'm about in my Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm gonna cry. Alright. Turn the song back on. I need something to stim with.
<laughs> I, Thank I you. need to stop thinking about it for a little Welcome. while. I'm making it at it right now. It's fine. Skibbity skibbity Fortnite. Fortnite. I'm listening to the Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio. So we glossed over. I love this fucking yeah. wolf dancing. We glossed over a little bit. Jack wakes up and he goes to fucking talk to Goodwin, who's dealing with Zig Zix and Lazar. The, the so worst fucking duo. You had to bring it up. <laughs> is that their uh, real last I'm names? Working on an edit. Yes. That is Literally unfortunately their real duel, last names. Uh -huh. I was convinced this whole duo was like, oh, he's just playing around. This old guy's gonna be super wise. He's gonna he's gonna flip the tables. He's just burning his life points, so he's gonna flip the life points of nope. his opponent. And I was like, oh, nope, nope. He just he just sucks. He, he was very clearly painted <laughs> as uh, an incompetent duelist at best. So I was really yeah. hoping that he would like kick, kick this dude's ass and you say to be like, whoa, old man, you're pretty fucking chill. But that didn't happen. He no. just likes the cards. He's you just say passion. voice by he Keanu just likes Reeves. them and their historical significance. Uh, big, big fan of uh, Ursul Skull, the card. <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, that's so funny. Dude, that goes crazy. The share zone. I'm sorry. I just started thinking about uh, you say, but voiced by Keanu Reeves, and I really want that. <laughs> Gets out of jail and he's like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, thinking I'm, I'm back. back. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> So would that make Willem Dafoe? He has Jack like Atlas? the equivalent of that. So many yeah. lines in this, just like, yeah, and I'm gonna fuck your shit up right now. <laughs> oh fuck! That's crazy. Now, what I love mm -hmm. about this episode is when Jack Atlas walks into a uh, what's his face's room. Mm. What's that? What's that freak's name? Good Which one? one? Uh, there's Goodwin, who's the normal one. There's Goodwin, Lazar, who's Rex the purple-haired piece of shit. And there's Zig Zix, who's the fucking freak talking about momentum. I was talking about Goodwin. Okay. Goes in there to yell at him, like, why are you watching my duel, you fucking pervert? And instead he finds out he got fucking epically owned on Reddit.com by someone with 5 million Reddit gold. Yeah, he learns that if... Uh... If the duel had played out and not been cut Reddit? short by them being arrested, uh, he would have lost. And he is taking it so well, I say, laughing at how hard he's trying to cope. <laughs> I can't lose with the king. If I lost as the king, it means a, that I'm not the king. That can't be he, true. He's, ma he's making some oh, points no. here. Then he shows so off his sick funny. arm tattoo. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, crazy. It they're like oh yeah you're a you're a signer and i'm like you're not Bro's supposed to pronounce no the g what uh, yeah they're like they're a sigma yo they're pokemon they, they didn't actually say that right that's just you're just like trying to be racist no that's how Bro's, they said yeah. it <laughs> they what really... <laughs> yeesh Bro's they, they pronounced it no they pronounced it signers and i was like okay all right we don't need we can like it's signers english is hard okay english is hard English sucks. It's not their first language. Who would, who I, I, I understand it. the G is silent? Why is the G there if you don't pronounce the G? Exactly. I've been saying that all my life and they don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's up? Nope. Have anything you want to bring to the table here? Or? Nope. All right. Understandable. Uh, <laughs> so. What kills me about this batch is them constantly just going we need to see if you say has the tattoo we need to know if bro has the fucking matching tat on his arm and they run all of these tests and they do all this shit and nobody can fucking figure out how to make it work it is so they do a fucking funny. dna test on that i was gonna say yeah. you're saying test they just put him in a tube and electrocuted him <laughs> there was a scene where i was very convinced they were gonna stick their entire arm in his ass yeah, same. I was, yeah, I was like, I uh, totally thought we were getting the Yusei photo cavity search, and I was getting excited. He, they, they literally told these fucking guys to molest this child. I'm like, can you guys okay, behave? Okay, well, uh, this is the first Yu Gi Oh series Drake? that is so blatantly, so phenomenally <laughs> anti cop. It's great. A cab, a cab, a cab. They just, yeah, it, just, it seemed very pointed. It's okay. Like, I support oh, don't speed out of the He is 18. Okay, that's that's good to know. 
That doesn't still, make it better, by the way. Doesn't make, yeah, it doesn't make it a it lot better. It doesn't make it a little bit better. It makes not it a little really. bit better, but it's still not, not you know, really. don't do that to people non-consensually. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're right. It is a little bit worse because I can't say it's Drake now. <laughs> you know, I had an idea for an edit, and I thought it was too mean, but now I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I hate oh, the way no. that you pluck your nose hairs. I hate the way you fucking rub your belly button with your fingers. I hate the way... Bro, <laughs> What? <laughs> The These fuck? are way too pointed. You're just thinking about this shit while all around oh the house God. or at work. Do you work? What? I'm just kidding. You know my goddamn job, you little yeah, freak. Huh? Commit to the bit for longer than two seconds. No, I gotta go get my dinner. Hey, come on, you fucking pervert. Get it together. <laughs> I was gonna keep the bit, but my I just got the notification that my food's here. <laughs> Bro's fucking door dashing in the middle of an episode. I forgot so to dumb. eat. I'm sorry. Kill me. Uh, all right. Sure. I will. Okay. Stay okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I have the gun. Oh, God. This is truly a vile edit. Why am I doing this? Can I just say that Crunchyroll's subs uh, need to get a little fucking better for this? Because there's been like... <laughs> At least once an episode, there's been like really bad fucking typos. Yeah, you guys they fucked up, they they, they, they fucked up and typed a slash in there. Yeah. I wonder if Crunchyroll has to do all of these, or if like they get provided by like the by like the license holder sometimes. That wouldn't surprise me if they just like stole them. Especially because this is like a back catalog. This show like is like a, over a decade old. That and the fact that they have to keep correcting all the monsters to be what they are over here. They can't just write red demons dragon on any of the official stuff. I think that they should just pay their translators more. Yeah. Well, I don't, know, I don't know if Crunchyroll did those or not, so I can't, can't immediately shoot on them. Sorry, liberal. God damn it. Got me again. Yep. That's crazy. No. Uh, someone should probably stop me, but nobody is, so... Of course not. save this as a ah, okay, JPEG. Good. Uh, we got to the part where, um... What's his name? The sea urchin-headed dude just, like, drags you saying the old man away to Tanner. duel? Tanner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, like, wrote... uh, once they, once they get locked up, he, like, waves his hand to the guard saying, Hey, can I, like, haze these guys? Since yeah. They're new? And they're like, oh, okay, just don't go too crazy. And, and I just wrote, uh, oh, thank God, you just want to duel. I thought we were about to get into Oz territory. Jesus you know, that 20-year-old show yeah. that's yeah. not relevant anymore. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so uh, I told good. you it was vile. And our conversation oh. made me go, nah, I'm doing it anyway. I think that's I think that's a perfect level of vile, considering that I think that's really is. good. Yeah, uh, considering ACAP, you know. <laughs> <laughs> certified yeah. satellite. Certified. <laughs> hey, did y'all like the part the where he... Uh, don't know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what does this so mean? It means you... you're too white to understand it. <laughs> Basically. It means you haven't been paying close attention to fucking rap drama. You're like the, you're like those people that saw that uh, a take... character didn't get whitewashed anymore, and they're like, they brought their melatonin back, and I almost passed out. You probably still listen to Drake. Oh. So... <laughs> Tanner drags them out of their cell because uh, he has the assistance of some of the fucking uh, cops in this place and he just goes yeah no uh, around here we duel for respect so uh, you're gonna fucking duel me and I'm gonna see whether I respect you or not afterwards <laughs> and you, you say his deck got confiscated he doesn't have uh, anything else we're back to no stardust dragon but this old man who's this is his I believe third time arrested uh, has figured out where they search and has hidden these cards in various places. Uh, there's almost definitely one up his ass, but don't worry about that. Um, and they are his great. That's where treasures. the Ashoka Pippa goes. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, they are his great treasures, and he's made a coherent deck out of these. He's gone all around the world to get them, and yeah. Now I wouldn't say coherent. <laughs> Old man, why does this smell so bad? Where do you keep these cards? <laughs> Prison wallet. I'll never tell. My bum hole. I'll never tell. Proceeds to tell instantly. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, man. Uh, so, so the old man decides to duel first, because he also looks up to Tanner, and he's like, yeah, no, I followed you on the pro dueling circuit, and this pisses him off, because Bro doesn't want to talk about what fan. happened before he got arrested. Uh, and, <laughs> you know, old, old man who, who really likes his deck and uh, just really wants to info dump about you, like it's a uh, <laughs> new Shikoshi video game. Uh, he he drops Crystal Skull on the field immediately. Shoutouts uh, once again to Crystal Skull. Surface a Crystal comes no, out. No, it's and great. Uh, he ends up immediately taking a thousand points of damage on summoning uh, because that's this card's effect. And I guess Bro never read that, so uh, he collects he collects the cards. He doesn't actually play. Yeah, well fucked up, but it's yeah. Fine. So it's just a big squash match the whole way. Yeah, so uh, he. He loves the cards in this deck. He has never used them in a deck in his life. And, of course, he eats shit and loses. The, uh, shocking, no one. <laughs> and then you say... Funny. You say watches Tanner walk up, step on the Crystal Skull, uh, and laugh in the old man's face about how his cards are shit. And you say decides to <laughs> beat the shit out of this man and go, shut the fuck up and duel me then. <laughs> With like, he does a, with, a yeah, fucking a sweep on his ass. Yeah. yeah. The deck I think that was... can't even, like, he doesn't even know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. I think it was funny that I'm just like, I see him play cost down. I'm like, oh, this man's playing real cards. And then he summons Ushioni, and I'm like, never mind. Hell yeah, and brother. He goes into a Ushioni, dude. Ushioni. And then he's a like, giant Ushioni. I'm like, that, I, is that even real? Yeah. Is it? I hate that. It is. Let's find out. Is that real in the TCG? Giant Ushioni? Let's see. It is. God. Or at least uh, it kind of is. It is not a real TCG card, but it is usable in the 5D's Tag Force game. That's not a real card, then. I hate you. I, I'm, I'm speaking <laughs> about actually printed physically, uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not surprised Giant Ushioni is not real, but that's funnier. So, Ugh. you say takes the old man's when deck. When are we getting the Ushioni support? <laughs> oh. Ugh. Now, of all the things we could manifest, <laughs> that might be the worst, actually. <laughs> it actually was released in 2002. I nailed it. What yeah. You... God damn. Fuck? Okay, shit. Dude, original Ushioni, a bull fiend restored by the dark arts. This monster appears out of a jar. 2150, baby. Of course you knew its oh, exact yeah, release date. Real. It comes out of a jar. What else? Because yeah, I have it was real. Uh, I hate this thing. You know, I'm sorry you say some cards are actually just dog shit and worthless. Yeah. You're one of those toxic meta players, though. Yeah. My and? card has no bad. Um, fuck, never mind. <laughs> yeah, you almost had it. All right, no, nice. Nice. <laughs> you want to take two of that one? Let's nice try. No. You try over. Um... There is a line in the dub that knocked me the fuck out uh, for episode six, and it's before the old man goes to duel uh, Tanner and his goons. Uh, he he mentions his ancient treasures deck, and then I think it's it's his fucking henchmen in the back who just go, <laughs> would it come with Montezuma's revenge? And I screamed, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean <laughs> Montezuma's revenge gets mentioned in the 5Ds dub? These two sure, fucking yeah, that was pretty fucking good. Insane. This background goon pointed at this old man and went, "Shit yourself now!" Yeah. <laughs> and then he did. Are we gonna move on to episode seven? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we are. <laughs> there have been so many strikeouts in terms of statements on this episode in particular. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you mean? Because calls not high. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm a little still. And you took another one on top of that? Oh, no, I didn't. I just wanted you to think I did. Mm -hmm. 5Ds, episode 7. My heart beats in hyperdrive. <laughs> that is not, I don't think that's what that fucking episode is called. Not it's at not, all. That's it's, what I wanted it's to say. It's actually called uh, The Facility mm. Part 2 or Feelings for the Cards, Crystal Skull versus Giant Oceani. Oh boy, well, yeah, but my that's, fucking that's too much to That's too much to write as my first note. My first note is always my heart beats in hyperdrive. Well, that's because you it paste is. it. That's Maybe you should have different notes is... every time. 
I do. Mind, that guy is so tall. What the fuck? The Dude first shot of the, uh, <laughs> the first shot of the prison like guard is just like him. He's super huge. Hey, he's massive. He's like uh, the, the the guy in Dragon Ball Z he sits on his mahogany desk. Zenma? Is that his name? Oh yeah, yeah. like King Yama yeah. or whatever. He's King like the, Yama. There he's like the ruler of like yeah. hell check-in station or whatever. Yeah, know. I couldn't remember what his name was. In Dragon Ball, it's King Yama, first. and I believe in, um, in mythology, Yacho, it's Enma. Enma. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. That's what Spoilers. I'm thinking of. They, they're based on the same guy, so. Spoilers are for yeah. cars, Bio. Calm it, down. It's just, a, it's just a mythology thing, all right? Just... Yeah, it's also actually <laughs> you not a, a funny tweet idea. It's George Washington. Yeah, I'm... You gave me the funniest so... tweet idea, thank you. Oh, God. You're welcome. Good. So we jump into the duel pretty quickly on this one, and immediately Yusei has drawn the exact same fucking hand. Like, <laughs> exact same fucking hand as this old man. Yeah, yeah he's gonna show the old man how to get it done. And he's like, it'll look, be... oh, I like because the dude goes, hey, it's that card I drew. <laughs> it'll be, it'll oh, be, easy to do. Play that, that card's a piece of shit. It'll be really <laughs> easy to do when motherfucker goes, I'm going to normal summon Jirai Gumo in 2007. Fuck you. Dude, that's a lot of attack. You just gotta win that's, the coin flips. That's a lot of attack, I guess. Yeah, you just gotta be yeah. lucky, forehead. Yeah. That's all right. Hey, these are poor people, man. He's a pro duelist, <laughs> as has been shown. <laughs> he used that in the underground prison duels or whatever. Now, you also that's have so to true. remember that they can't necessarily get good cards in this fucking prison, so... <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, my God. That is... Freaking fucking Elon Musk this noted. <laughs> what is fucking... going on over there? I don't know. Oh, the libs going off again. Freaking... What? No, I was just trying to tag this so that you had to click on it to see it, and didn't even do it. You can't spoiler tag stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, dude. Removing another good feature. Yeah, sounds like Musk. Let's go. Like I click the button that says like flag it and then it doesn't flag it whatever whoa so you say fucking you say immediately shows this old man how it's really fucking done by summoning the crystal skull and redirecting its fucking cost to tanner using curse reflection doll yeah fucking yay actual good combo the fact that there are any combo cards in this deck and the old man just didn't use any is insane because you say doesn't know this deck, the old man does. Yes, he's on track with like everything. He's like, I, I know what all those cards do. This is not a problem. I think this episode's really funny because it's it like keeps jumping between uh the Jack guy, like learning all this stuff and going to hell. Or yeah. they go to like talk <laughs> about everything, and then it just jumps back to a random duel and he's like, ha, look at this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Go back. Yeah, Wait, or a burst? Um, what? They showed a they showed a shot where they're like showing the duel from above, and I saw Jirai Gumo. I thought it was a crab, so I was just like, "How do you think Jirai Gumo tastes?" It was a crab. I. You think Jirai Gumo tastes bad. like crab? No. I think it's like eating a tarantula. Oh. Oh, People so you're that. not too off, off, off base. I know there's some video game that's adding an arachnophobia mode that changes every spider into a crab. Let's go. That's, that's how you do it. Honestly. You know? Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. So e even from that first play <laughs> of uh, redirecting the summoning cost for Crystal Skull, Tanner looks at Yusei and he just goes, damn, that's a real one. Because <laughs> uh, his, his fucking goons are off to the side just saying that it was dumb luck. And immediately bro is like, I know it wasn't luck. He can read. <laughs> He knows how to read cards. I'm getting pumped. He's like, I know. I no, know. Like, he's not like throwing the cards at random. If only the combo goes. How did how did that happen? If only people in real life learned how to read fucking cards. Do you think there's a um like a tournament where someone won that like didn't actually know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe early Possibly on. That can Nowadays, happen. never. No. Okay. Nowadays, you have to understand on, yeah. the intricacies of. Uh, how how Same. decks interact with each other? <laughs> Maya, we've told you about I was uh, to sign up and win. Maya, we've told you about how like the sixty card deck limit came into existence, yes, right? Yes, I do know about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do remember that. Was the that. Funniest shit, still. Th those guys are so real for that. That was awesome. 
<laughs> I love that it was just like a couple of judges who were like, nah, we gotta make this shit change. Well, we yeah. gotta force a change. By the way, a oh, scene that man. was cut out of the dub entirely. Uh, Tanner's an alcoholic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, when they go into his past where he loses to Jack because he uses shit like Battle Ox and Jirai Gumo. <laughs> He's like, I just duel and illegal duels. And it just shows him taking shots and just being blackout drunk in front of a table full of cards until he eventually gets arrested. We've all been there before. Where? You know where else we've all been before? Huh? Angel Island, where the Master Emerald resides. <laughs> because if you look very closely here, and I mean very closely, let's computer Oh, enhance. shit! Zoom in. There he is. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that is. Egg Fleet? <laughs> that, that is the Egg Carrier. I'd rather flex my knuckles. Uh, <laughs> uh, meanwhile. Wait, hold on. Knuckles, look out. I'm here to steal the master. Your animal. knuckles? Yeah. <laughs> and not muscles? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. D uh, Carl, go ahead and pull up the Knuckles and Knuckles remix. <laughs> Oh man, all right. Oh, <laughs> I think oh, the people God, I'm need to hear, hear it. it. Well, no, Skibbity Fortnite. Fuck Skibbity Fortnite. This is important. This is the culture. Oh, fine, I'll listen to it. We're letting this rock for a minute. Here I come, well for them knuckles. The best of them, tougher than knuckles. You can call me knuckles. Unlike knuckles, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my knuckles. I'm hard as oh, knuckles. Yeah. Ain't hard to chuckle. Yeah. I break them down whether they knuckles. Oh, knuckles. Oh, my God. Knuckles. I'm independent since my first chuckle first. Knuckles. Triple Q remixes go crazy. Every time. Thank Jack you. and Goodwin, or what the fuck are you playing? Uh, Scooby Fortnite. Fortnite. Alright, well, I'm leaving that on. Fuck it. Jack and Goodwin are going through the info dump right now. Uh, yeah, the, they're doing the yeah. expositing. Yeah. Goodwin is explaining to Jack all about the the history of the dragons and uh, the signers. And how... So, like, there was, like, a, a sun god civilization and a dragon and something about the Nazca lines. Yeah. Uh, like, the temple was... Uh, the, the temple that Goodwin shows this man, he admits was lifted from Peru and reconstructed in New Domino City. <laughs> Which is a plot point I only remember seeing once in a fucking Scooby-Doo PC game. Where they took a, an old know? Scottish castle brick by brick and reconstructed it in America. Dude, Indiana a, Jones dude, could like, never. We get Resident Evil games that are like, wait, why, does, why is this cruise liner like the Spencer Manager one? They're like, uh, he had that built too. Uh, he also built an exact replica of this boat that is replicating this mansion as well. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. When you're you rich, Rex could... you do that. Go ahead. Hmm? What do you do when you're rich? You just I do didn't that. fucking hear that part. Die. What anyway, do you do I... when, you're, when you're rich? Um, live I comfortably, I would hope. Also, right. some crimes. I hope so. some do, crimes? do you think that... They're... Do you think that Rex Goodwin, like, watched a single Indiana Jones movie? No. And just went, I could do that, but better? No. I don't, I don't think he watches movies. I think he's the kind of freak who just goes, movies? What are movies? And, and you have to look at him. Yeah, you have I to look hire at people. To act. Every time I want to watch a movie, I just hire ten people to reenact the movie for me. Motion pictures, you say? I know not of what this is you speak of. This is quite interesting. The only pictures I've ever seen that move are dual monsters. I've only ever seen things appear on the magic orb, such as Jack's duel. That was it's called orb, a screen. Huh? Fucking hell! It's called a screen, bud. You're, you're watching <laughs> something on a on a big screen. You can watch movies on that. Oh god! Movies. So he's supposed to be like the. <laughs> Sorry, that really got me. That's no, that funny. was pretty good. <laughs> He's supposed to be, I think he said, the 360th descendant of their current organization. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Uh, uh, Iliaster, yeah. which means the first. And uh, it's the Illuminati. They control uh, most aspects of the world, as he describes it. As yeah. they're preparing for a thing that's going to happen that will require the 
crimson dragon that is a manifestation of the big red star in the sky from ancient times. Yeah, the, the star oh. that uh, the ancient people prayed to to help them in a time of crisis, and it did. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot this was the shift from yeah. Egyptian culture to Incan and Native American and South American culture. Which is raw yeah. as hell. I've missed this. Mm -hmm. It's sick as fuck. Oh, I get it. Raw as hell. I got you. That's that wasn't even intentional, <laughs> but sure. <laughs> well, I, it made me stand up, though. You got me at attention on Let's that one. Go. I'm like, oh, shit. Lock I in, intended baby. going 10 hot. Yeah, they layer in a lot of this lore throughout the episodes. So it's, you know, just giving you little pieces of it instead of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, where none of this would be here until episode 65. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they talk about that. They talk about there's something bad with the Nazca lines that they need to prepare for, which is why they're looking for this tattoo shit and ways to bring it out. Because, you know, they yeah. gotta fight the evil gods sealed in the yeah. Nazca lines, apparently. So there is a point during this where Goodwin is explaining to Jack about the secret society that he is a, the head of and a part of. Um, and he describes them as being the glue that holds society together. And in the dub, Jack, who, who is not believing any of this, he's not buying any of this shit. He just looks at this man and goes, so it's glue. You swore your allegiance to magic glue. And I fucking lost yeah. my shit. Because I, I think... he, he describes he describes Iliaster as like the energy that is within all things that connects everything, and Jack immediately just hits him with glue. You fucking worshiping glue. It That's is so funny. Never have I seen a more successful campaign of someone who just is a hater and does not believe in any of the weird magic bullshit that he's already very clearly seen since Seto Kaiba. I love this shit. I I love fucking. This didn't even have to Kaiba this fast, like. Yeah, well, because Kaiba didn't get introduced to the ancient Egyptian. A god Lauren came out of his soul. arm. Yeah. But but the more important thing is that he was gonna lose that duel. The, fuck the dragon. This ain't about him. This is about that duel. That that is true. Like fucking pro duel circuits, cutthroat out here. Yeah. There could only be one king. And that king has to be the master of faster. Cutting back to... What a fucking catchphrase. Yep. Yeah. Uh, cutting back to Tanner and Yusei's duel. Um, Yusei is managing to bring out some more good combos. You ever uh, think about how Tanner is just uh, Zane? No, no. Not even once in my entire life. I didn't think no, about Tanner that. Is at least... I understand. Well, yeah, they were both... Yeah, they were both uh, in the pros, and then they both fell and had to do uh, underground wrestling. Wrestling. Fucking dueling. <laughs> wrestling? <laughs> Come here, Farman. Are you sure you're not... Did, did, are sense. you sure you didn't take another one? Like, No, it doesn't make sense. Skibbity Fortnite. <laughs> Dude, play it. Thank you. So... Don't speed it up, motherfucker. Yeah, I do not appreciate this at all. <laughs> now, slow it down. I was stunned to see no one of cross out in Bro's deck. Like, what do you mean there's a good card in here? Uh, they just put in deck, shit from the slurpy. first two years of the show in the prison segment. <laughs> they got they got Jar Greed, they got Sneering Nobleman, Axe of Despair. Yeah. No, shoutouts to Axe of Despair. That card hasn't been good since uh, I was, like, seven. But uh, I owned it when I was seven, and it, it ripped on the playground. Yeah. So. Good classic fucking card. Yeah. You, you say has to draw. I'm... You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I hate drawing with all my art. I was holding together really well listening to Skibbity Fortnite at half speed until I heard him cracking up. <laughs> Yeah, I just muted that shit. I'm not dealing with that in half speed. No, it's all right. It's good. It, it was real bad. I was just I'm too lazy to go click the mute button. It's all right. We're back in the note. Uh, Skibbity Fortnite. You say, you say finally starts drawing the out that he needs. Yeah. yeah he he finds needs, it on the map. He just needs to get one more card on the field to start. Fear Ray's map is a pretty good card. Fear Ray map is awesome. Uh, shout out to my Master Duel Exodia deck. <laughs> That runs Hate three copies it. of it to get Royal Magical Library. <laughs> Learn a real deck. No. 
Yeah, I, I love he does the draw and they go, oh shit, he smirked at his draw. This is gonna be good. Yeah, it's so good. This is this what I, I love you say he gets shit done. He will commit violence upon you. He will show in, insane levels of confidence. It's like if Yami Yugi was on at all times. Yeah, There's no like actually. moment that you had to hit the puzzle up. He's just like, yeah. nah, he's just a dude in the world. When the cops show up, I just wrote down, fuck off, pigs. Go sniff a bar of soap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I completely forgot about this, Carl. Yeah. You sent me a direct message on, mm -hmm. let's see what this, what is this? Oh, um, May the 2nd. Mm -hmm. So this would have been nine days ago. Yeah. At 8.56 p.m. Hope you're ready for me to be high as fuck next weekend, looping the Skibbity Fortnite video during Millennium Mike and crying laughing. Well, at least he's consistent. Oh, Lord. <laughs> gonna be honest, so, when you said that and I replied mm -hmm. yes, I thought you were just gonna play it on your microphone and just force people to have to listen to it involved. No, no like, now you've given him the idea to do that. No, no, I was hoping no, I it would happen because then Shibuya would fire you and I would get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that fucking diabolical and stupid. I need money. <sighs> <laughs> so anyway, you say manage just to pull off a pull off a game without ever attacking once. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, using the power of that map, let uh, blows up every card on the field. All of these ancient like relic cards, when they're destroyed, deal effect damage. But it all goes to it all goes to Pinhead over there, so he just completely washes them out. Yep. Pinhead. And then the guards yeah. tell you say that he has to go see the chief. And he fucking dies. No, well, no, <laughs> not this episode. <clears throat> um, I fucking will cover episode eight before the ad break. That's fine because the last two are two parter. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, it works. Oh, episode... I thought we were on episode eight. No, we were on seven. Oh, that's where I know it came from for the guy that's so tall because that's what he appears in. My bad. Oh, okay. We, oh. we, we spent like 45 <laughs> minutes on one episode because we had to teach you what Truth Social was, I guess. Yeah. Mm. So it, it took us a bit to get oh, over I here. There's a little a... I didn't look it up. The end of episode seven got a little too real where they're just like talking about war. And I'm like, oh, all right, guys. Oh, guys, guess what? Two days ago, financer found guilty in Trump media insider trading <laughs> trial. Thanks. Isn't man. that crazy? Thanks, Vile. Thanks for the update. No problem. Thanks, bud. All right. I think hey, I hate this podcast. <laughs> I, hey, hey, bud. You and me both. So what? Man. Uh, what do you mean? You love this podcast. Look at how good we do. I run this podcast. Sure. Everyone likes it. <laughs> it's okay. I bet after the ad break, it will only get better. Hopefully. So maybe my edible will hit by then. <sighs> I oh. wish I could take an edible during recording, but I can't fucking function if I do that. So yeah, I know. There's a lot of buttons to press. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Some, sometimes being the captain of the ship is uh, too much. So, yep. episode 8 picks up. You say gets dragged off to... Um, to... To, eh, to Armstrong's office. Uh, to uh, Takasu in the sub. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, in the dub, they keep <laughs> making jokes about how the only reasons you would get called up there are if uh, he's gonna tear you a new one or if you make a mean barbecue and uh tanner mentions oh that you gosh. say doesn't look like he can work a grill so <laughs> <laughs> dude, that not he would yeah he would show you dude he he's and they're like here's a barbecue deck you say see if you can figure it out <laughs> See, now I just want to make an edit of Tanner uh, in, in a little apron, just going, if it's not a good day, because if today was a good day, I'd be grilling. <laughs> I feel like that would Jesus kill Christ. as an apron. <laughs> so I, I was foreshadowing in, at the end of our last uh, episode, this horrible man, mm -hmm. because this entire bit is digging into his nose, ripping his nose hairs out and blowing them on people's faces. Ooh. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, it's, it's real fucking Not nasty. great. Yeah, vile. Brody as hell. Ugh. I actually wrote down, uh, this is kind of gross. Stop fucking blowing your noses at me, you cocksucker. I'll fucking kill you. I'll bite out your fucking no, jugular. Carl, if he was a cocksucker, maybe he'd be more chill about this whole thing. That's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, they have orders from Goodwin, 
uh, to, you know, make sure that you say is actually a signer because Jack dropped they that say. you say also had the tattoo. Just following orders. And uh, the dragon also responded to him. So they strip him down to his boxers and put him in an MRI. And I don't know what the fuck they think that's going to do for finding a signer tattoo, but uh, it sure doesn't work. <laughs> the medical device will reveal to us the magical fucking tattoo. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sure. Like. This all happens in episode eight, doesn't it? Yep. Did we move on to episode eight officially? It is yeah, one we episode did. Eight. <laughs> yes. It's episode eight. Fire it up. All right, I loop I it up. Start, it. start over, Shivy. Start from the top of episode but no, eight. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, no, I didn't hear us saying that we were moving to episode eight. <sighs> so you say gets dragged off uh, to the office of the head of the, <laughs> the prison. Uh, no, Armstrong Takasu in Japanese, and this bit sucks. I'm not continuing on with this. So... Uh, now I'm gonna. I gotta tell you, I was foreshadowing this at the end of the last episode. This dude has a horrible bit where he rips out his <laughs> nose hairs and blows them on Yusei's face. <laughs> Good morning, Truly campers. <laughs> the Get on your shoes. It's really cold out today. <laughs> I want to know how Jack gets his coat to stick out like that. Wires. <laughs> yeah. Wires. I thought that he was just using, has a like, similar animation too. Yeah, I thought he was yeah, just walking. He's, fucking... he's got that same like Yami Yugi like you know the bottom stuff just puffs out. Yeah, he's just using fucking cornstarch on his clothes. He can't afford that shit. <laughs> he could probably afford it. Look at where he lives. He's got a bar in his bedroom. Oh, I thought you meant both of them. Like, you say can't afford yeah, this. For, no, you say can't afford that. Goodwin uh, forces satellites to come in and sew just um, regular metal wire into the clothes so that he can pose it as he likes. I would love that. Would you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I saw this cosplay prop the other day that was like a mechanical tail for like animal cosplays. I thought it was really cool. That was the thought. Nice. <laughs> so oh, this is the part where Tanner like touch, touches his chest all weird. This is the episode. No, no, no. Yeah. Please stop doing that. I don't like that. Yeah, that sucked. I don't like it. So Yusei gets sent back to his cell uh, with the old man. And uh, they have a conversation about what the cops were looking for. And Yanagi decides that he's going to just lore dump about the, the dragons and how... You know, they've changed appearance over time, but it's always them, and, you know, maybe that's a hint of something. Who who could say? Who could possibly say? Um, and he... He looks at Yusei and he goes, Bro, you got a dragon? Uh, and Yusei just goes, No, they took my cards. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we it's like, no, this. they actually took all my shit like a few days ago. <laughs> I had to use you your cards in the previous episode. <laughs> Which you, you have know, a dragon? Had a dragon. Considering dragon that Goodwin looked at the dual footage and made a very clear note in the dub about how the the Crimson Dragon activated when both dragons were summoned and attacked. I wonder if getting you say to duel wouldn't be the only catalyst if he doesn't have his fucking deck, bro. Perhaps you're gonna want to try something. And they do try something, but it's not the thing that they should try, meaning this takes longer yeah. and I have to deal with the Mr. Nose Hair over here for more time, which is never a pleasant thing. Ugh. Yeah. It happens, you know. You, you, there, there are more pages in the book. We can't skip to the end. I wish Gotta, I like, slowly... Gotta slowly pace it out. I I know. So, so uh, it seems like you're in a world where it's like unless the entire world changes, it's a filler episode. So there's a point in this episode where they like zoom in on a uh, Rex's face or Godwin's face, Goodwin, whatever his name is. Goodwin. And I was like, oh, dude, he looks ugly as shit. Like the way that they drew it looked like they just sort of digitally zoomed into his face. Oh, they do that a lot. Like, a lot of anime, I feel like, in the aughts, do that digital zoom on something yeah, that's already drawn. It fucking sucked a lot. That's awesome. But then they just had, like, a regular shot of his face, and I was like, this dude kind of looks like anime Homelander. <laughs> He's gonna start fucking threatening to laser people's faces off and slurp some breast milk down from the his favorite man. bottle. Oh, oh, cry, yes. The milk so man. <laughs> so the next day, Goodwin shows up at the prison, and uh -huh. he's like, 
Hi there, you filthy fucking people. I'm gonna give one Whoa. of you a special chance to, to not Ooh. be so terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Ooh. one of you the golden ticket out of here, he says, staring at you. Say, I wonder who he could possibly pick. Surely it won't be <laughs> the guy he's staring at right yeah. now. My speech today was prepared by my assistant Lazar. I have edited it down for safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank God. It's about three fucking sentences at this point, and I still can't say half of it. Ugh. So anyway, hey, you say, you want to fucking, like, you, you want to leave this fucking prison? Well, no, no. He, he doesn't even say oh. it. Uh, the crowd disperses, and one of the guards has to just grab you, saying, be like, nah, man, he wants you. <laughs> He has to. Goodwin won't even just tell this boy directly. <laughs> yeah, I picked you. Come on up here. He has to be held back after class. And you say still says no. Uh huh. Which you know. Just like no. Nah. Bad respect. Meanwhile, uh, over over at uh House Copium, Jack is told that he has more duels that he has to prepare for uh the next day. And Jack goes, fuck the duels. They, they, want, they want someone who's undefeated. I'm not undefeated. I fucking lost. <laughs> and Mina starts going off about how he has sponsorships to maintain and he can't just do that. And he doesn't give a fuck. He's, he's just mentally in shambles. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, you lost one unofficial match. Shut the fuck up. It's not real. Okay, it but didn't he's, happen. He's not Fiction. undefeated if he lost a match. No one's got to know that. Stop being yeah, a fucking re Hamilton. Really finish. Yeah, he just needs fine. to kill. He just needs to kill everybody that was present. It's like I didn't lose anything. <laughs> I mean, Yusei's in jail right now, so his his secret yeah. is essentially safe, and he's still making a fuss out of all this. It's all right. My boy still got to go. Waga Tamashi, Red the Demons of Dragon. So it was really fucking cool. It was a good episode. Yeah. That's fair. Um, so he gets over himself and he goes to the duel the next day, which is with the same motherfucker from episode one again. For some that's reason, why, that's why I laughed when he was like, "Look like at this guy. This is the guy not built to last one scene." And I'm like, "Oh, baby." Yeah. Welcome back, Mukuro Enjo, Hunter Pace. Uh, we love also get guy. the return of uh, six gen ass graphics. I love this shit. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Hell yeah. oh yes! So true. I love the PS2 bike. Yeah. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Uh, there's, uh, I think it was in Star Wars. They have like those weird, like circular things. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Which? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Some vehicle. I don't know the name of off the top of my head. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I've, I've seen. I've seen like the the, the various like wheel <gasps> stuff there. I got distracted because someone played a video about the Rizzler, uh, just now, I'm trying to hold it up. <laughs> Got to hand it open. You are Julia, such can I a have bastard. his half of the fucking Patreon cut this month? <laughs> uh, I shouldn't <gasps> do that. Yeah, it's but funny. you yeah, want to? Yeah, it's not. It's not a very that. good thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a very good thing. Oh, uni nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, I like that approach. We even see that in modern anime now, where they'll do like a really zoomed out wide shot, and you can tell that they replace the characters with CG characters that are just yeah. kind of moving. It's so funny. Demon yeah. Slayer does that a lot. It's yes, hysterical. It does, but like, Demon Slayer tries to do a better job of hiding it, and for the most part, they do succeed. Where, like, oh, yeah, they, this jarring. they're like, this is new and kind of cool, so we'll actually make it the whole shot. Yeah, I, I genuinely have to wonder sometimes if it wouldn't just be like more cost effective to just draw the fucking scene. I mean, for the sake of the I mean, bike, probably not because they didn't. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I just I feel like making the models has to be fucking pricey and then animating them and rigging them and shit. But, yeah, whatever. So you like Skull Flame? <laughs> you Not like at Skulls? Because that's all this dude's fucking deck is. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Once again, shout-outs to our boy Crystal Skull. Um, Let's go! Oh, this is a different shit. Skull. 
I know it's a different skull, but the point is that he eats shit and he loses. I'm glad he ate shit because that deck fucking sucked. It would have been very funny if he had won because Jack is off his game. I was almost hoping that that would happen, but now Jack wins and he just has a, a little inner internal monologue of like, damn, that kind of sucked. I need a real challenge. I have to fight you, say again. <laughs> I got to get my dick sucked. Exactly. Damn. Bro, so thirsty. Just drink up. Have some of my sippy. This deck was okay. We got to see Big Piece Golem again, so that was something. I fucking hate dude. Big Piece of Shit Golem, dude. Yeah, I dude, Piece Golem. Big Piece Golem. <laughs> That's oomph. Why would you talk down to him? You know why. Yeah, you're he's a worse cyber dragon. In your heart. He's, a, he's, he's a worse cyber dragon. It's fine. Not everything needs yeah. to be the best card in the world. He looks right? stupid. I don't know about he that. Stupid stone hammer. He looks stupid. I hate him. Uh, Whoa, stone, all right. Stone hammer's Jesus. not yet, man. What the fuck? That, that's in, that's in the final two episodes, crazy. which will be coming up right after we hit the ad break. Ooh, ooh. Whoa. So, as usual, we've got a couple things to advertise here, and uh, let's just get through this relatively quick sure. we have a twitter twitter.com slash millennium mike on there we will post all of our thumbnail oh, edits for a given episode either the same day or the day after uh the actual stream uh we'll post funny meme ideas that we come up with we'll tease new guests we'll announce uh changes to the time and date of the show going live in case something happens that you know throws us out of whack like my power flickered a couple hours before we were gonna go live and thankfully it didn't go out but if it had you should have been on Twitter to check. Go follow us. We also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Millennium Mike. You go on there for as little as five bucks a month. You get access to all of our movie commentary tracks for Pyramid of Light and Dark Side of Dimensions. And when we get to it, this uh, this run, Bonds Beyond Time as well. You'll get access to archives of all, all past non-episode stream VODs. So, like, building the Millennium Puzzle Model Kit, uh, some future stuff that might be in the works. Any VODs, once they expire off of Twitch, go up there. You can also get extra benefits, like shoutouts during our episodes, like uh, our Blue Eyes White Dragons, our $25 and above tier. Get your name in the description of every episode and on the screen during these ad breaks on the video version. Ah, if there was one more, we could fuse you into the ultimate dragon. Only. Uh, but that's okay, because we also have our forbidden ones, our $50 tier. Uh, Zombie Slayer, longtime Blue Eyes, uh, getting the upgrade. Let's go. And, uh, that Whoa. was a blood express. Thank you very much. So, like, which limb are you? Hmm? So, like, which limb are you now, then, Zombie Slayer? Are you the leg? The arm? The head? This is an important question. I'm going to need you to get back to us on that. <laughs> I'm going to say left yeah. arm. I think they're like the right leg. I was going to say right leg. What the fuck, Shore? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And the most fearsome of all our God cards, our $100 tier. Thank you very much to our current God card, Shiny Mew. As always, it is much appreciated. Uh, please. It's an honor. Yeah. But in court. Uh, as always. I couldn't find my applause button, so I was like, hold on, let me click one of these that isn't bad. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, please remember to take care of yourself first. Make sure that you have money for rent, money for food, money money for your, yourself and staying alive. And then if you'd like to support us, Patreon will always be there. If you're having a rough time, do not feel bad about uh, backing off the subs. We appreciate any help we can get, whether or not it's financial, and word of mouth does a shit ton to help the podcast grow on its own. So, oh, everyone, you and know. If you really, and if you really want to support us, uh, I don't know, go sell your child. Huh? What? Yeah. Well, I am not there. Nope. That. Don't do that. I am not. But make sure to give me money first, so the tier goes like me. All that that block that that Shuby has said, the Millennium Mike. I think we got to get set up. Do things that work. Hey everyone, be excited for when the Millennium Mike Master Saga returns. Ashura and I, I actually have a clip here. I found it. 
actually have a clip here from uh, our first episode. Hey, oh, Carl, you did you send that footage to, to G it. yet? He was DMing me about it yeah. because he thought yeah, I, I did. had it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I sent it to G. G, G got started on. I got a snippet here for you for us all to check out if you would if you would like. All right, well, hold on. Bring up the screen and gotta, show it, yeah. I got to get the, the shit open on the... Uh... Yes, then. Fun. Fun. All right. All right, we're good. Yeah, I guess we're good. It's just going to cover half of us, and let me pause the music for a bit. It's going to be fucking skibbity Fortnite. All right. It is going to be skibbity Fortnite. I already know it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fuck, this is better. God damn it. <laughs> good bit, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's how recording that episode awesome, felt, so, dude. you know, that's pretty yeah, accurate. You know what? Sure, music's coming back on. Uh, for those of you who don't know, go watch Conan O'Brien interview Paul Rudd anytime. Literally any of them. You'll figure it out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking at your yacht for the Rizzler. I'm gonna fucking get you. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do things that. with hammers. So skibbity. Uh, so sigma. So. So true. All of the mill mic stuff is out of the way. Is there anything anybody else would like to promote while they're here? You know, there's... I've heard something about a Mega Man podcast. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is, but, you know... I, I think you keep bringing this up, you, like, relearn it every people. episode. It's weird. Start, yeah, start it's, it's pretty fucking weird. Um, yeah, Bio, yeah. you should start one. Get medicated. I should! Have I think I should idea. throw Bio into a... I think I should throw Bio into a shallow, a shallow <laughs> ditch. Anyway, hey, go watch Program Advance, a uh, occasional podcast with me, Yuki Exe, and uh, Double Soul. We 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 attempt to cover some pretty occasionally dog shit anime, like that time Bubble Man showed up. The only time I've ever agreed with Bio Roxas. <laughs> Bubble Man oh. fucking sucks. No, he's funny. Oh, I was about to ask. Of why course, you were, you'd uh... like that one. <laughs> He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. What do you and mean? Yeah, and Elemental Hero Bubble Man is just Batman with bubbles. What is your problem? He's Why just do you a hate medium him? guy. Like Batman, Batman is like the least cool superhero. What literally about? incorrect. I'm gonna kill this man. <laughs> literally, Plastic Man okay, is right okay. there. Like his superpower is I'm rich, cool. Okay, move okay. on. Okay, Bio. He makes up for not that having actual superpowers. That criticism. What is it, 2010? What's going oh, on damn. here? Uh, yeah, look up Plastic Man and then tell me Batman's the worst superhero again. Hey, if you guys want to watch more Yu-Gi-Oh content, you can check out D-Ship, the Dipship's humble Yu-Gi-Oh progression series on YouTube. Watch some I wonderful for the duels. Offer. All right, well, that's. I'm that's glad true, that yeah. you were kind about it. It hurts a little bit. I'll probably cry after this, but it's fine. I started okay, hold it together. Also, check out the saga series between me and Bridget. No. I'm killing her. Oh, is that still going? Yeah. You gotta do another How's one soon. Um, I mean, I think I lost the last couple. Uh, okay, okay, good. I don't good. think that's good. <laughs> I think I should be winning. Should you? I don't know. I'm kind of too good at Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Too good, and you lose all the time. What? You, that's, why said, like, that's why I said sometimes. You, just, you, see, you see, the problem is that Carl's just so good that he tries to dumb himself down, but he does it too much. Yeah, oh, he's, exactly. he's overly preparing for things, and Bridget just doesn't bring that. I Bridget's bringing greens. in battle ox and Jirai Gumo, and you just don't know what to do about it. That's true, it's hard to do. All right, so. Anything else to advertise before I, I throw us into dipships? I did a video on the psychology of Roxas. Hell yeah. Yeah. We have to oh, I got about a read, uh, an identity. Go check it out. Nice. I said I this in the pre show, but this feels like a, an appropriate enough time to say it. Uh, yeah. Shout outs to fucking Power Proto Man. By the, or, or not, not, not fucking Power Proto Man. Fuck you, Power Proto Man. Whoa! Whoa! What the Whoa! fuck, bro? No, I love you, Power Pro Man. Don't worry about it. Anyway, 
Fucking shout out to Supernova. Uh, fucking managed to pull off the fucking Venominaga win condition effect. Yeah, that that was great. Proof. That was cool. We we did mention that we would shout it out if it happened, and uh, <laughs> it happened. So. What yeah, is the win condition? Is. It's it's a complicated. Of course, thing. he pulled it off on a blue eyes player too. He had like eight <laughs> turns to fucking roll that out Let's too. Go. It's like okay. doing it against the fucking we, training dummy. Look, we didn't specify how. Just if you. I know, but I it. went. I went. Hold on, that's a blue eyes icon, but they could be playing anything. <laughs> if you look in that screen, you see the fucking blurred out nope, vanilla yeah. ass blue you eyes do. on the field. You do. It's very yeah. funny. <laughs> yep. Also, look, eyes. almost no cards in that hand too. They've been. They were going for a minute. He, yeah. he yep. had time. Oh, hey, blue eyes mate, by the way. Very funny. You fucking blue eyed idiot. I do have one more thing to, to I'm promote. I'm super nervous. Yep. Oh, I am. Oh, good promotion. Go ahead, Carl. Oh, I have it muted. Hold on. Get back, baby. Stupidity Fortnite. Stupidity Fortnite. Stupidity Fortnite. And this is where I cut us into dipships. You'll fucking, uh... You'll fucking hear it bleed into... No, keep it rolling. You'll hear it bleed into the dipships ad. This is the curse. Yeah, just hold, hold the mouse button. Speed it up. Do you enjoy boating? How about listening to some friends tell a few stories and talk about their weeks? Then I've got just the podcast for you. Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. Every week, Carl, PM, Medi, and Nick get together and tell their favorite stories and recap what's been going on in their lives and talk about boating too, I guess. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Podbean. And we'll see you on the Nautical Mile. Oh, we're back. Uh, oh. Little sidebar, Carl. I, yeah. I completely forgot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh, but I got some brogs recently. Yeah, some what? Some, some brogs. I'm gonna put them in the general of our, our Millennium Mike Discord. All right. uh, I got oh. that. One. Oh. oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing Dragon Quest Eight. And uh, uh, here's a slime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. So, for for people who know what a Dragon Quest slime looks like, brace, your, brace yourself, because this ain't that. This ain't that by oh, a long shot. Kizzy, I need to know who created these, because I need I I need to fucking give props to the person who has taken on my job. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I don't know. Everybody is always like on tap to do. I knew you would find some place to. I didn't even have to tell you. I no, was of like, course. You know, <laughs> this you know that job, I would have to live there for the it. rest of me. the episode. I gotta be on top of it. Anyway, here's another it's your, one. It's your child. Oh. <laughs> I wish it wasn't. I wish it would die. Honestly. Oh, Baldur, Baldur, do you love me? <laughs> You're surrounded. <laughs> Mother, Daddy. Help. Mother, help me. Daddy. Stop, stop, stop. Actually, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm god. I'm uncomfortable. Hey, hey, no. It, the slime does look like it's chewing on a spike of Bio's hair. The angle is it perfect. Does. Yeah, it does look like he's sucking it on. He's That's, sucking that shit up, oh dude. God. Oh my uh, god. Tasted like gel. I used to gel my hair. It doesn't fucking surprise me, dog. You play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Did you draw your hair? Yeah. You also play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> fucking get up. Ah, yeah. Ah. Ah. So anyway, episode nine and ten. I'm lumping them together because they're a two part. Yeah. So huh? hell yeah. <laughs> what? What if I just went Sorry, dead yeah. silent for twenty minutes and then ended the podcast? <laughs> I think no if outro. I have to experience another, someone talks and says nothing, and then no, there's 10 seconds left, I'm going to leave because it's scary. I, listen, listen. You're the one that wanted to get high. 
Oh, yeah. no. As someone who's done <laughs> podcasts for years, I hate it no matter when it happens. <laughs> yeah. When, when. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you say yeah. it's moved to a new fucking cell. This some, is... some asshole named Alex is already in that cell and wants him to take the top bunk and you say just doesn't Bro, get a shit. voiced by uh, yeah, Astro Phoenix's dub VA in the dub. That's awesome. That rips. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he was. Yeah. This was Hell the point yeah, in the... Siegfried. This was the point in my viewing where I got so high I was afraid to drink my water because I thought it was going to splash all over my face. How? Um, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to be honest, never experienced that in my life. And I've gotten I've gotten so high that I thought I had five arms. My water bottle got a wow. wow. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Listen, my water bottle got a wide, wide mouth. So it would splash on me if I wasn't careful. I was scared. So they moved them to the super prison cells where you're actually not staying here for a month. You're staying here for like half a year. Uh, yeah. No, forever. Yeah. In the dub. Or yeah. forever, yeah. Like permanent. Because you say his cellmate started a food fight once. Uh, and it was like, food hey, fight. you need to cool off for uh, a Oh, okay, it's because of the dub. I don't care. And that dub was a real. fucking four years ago. Dub isn't real. No, it is real. I watched Those it. fuckers. He's trying to trick us. All right, if nothing I say is real about the show, then you tell me. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine with it being real, but I'm not <laughs> fine with going, here's what the script of the show was, and you're like, here's this fucking joke nonsense. You're wrong. Here's what it said in English. Hey, what well, you're going to be forever. <laughs> that's what I'll take umbrage with. You feel right, free to talk about food fights look, and Duel Monsters Community College. That's that's on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> fucking forgot about Duel Monsters Community College. Oh, God. Oh, fucking Gibbity. love the dub sometimes. Yeah. Gibbity, gibbity. Yeah, there, there, there's some good ones. So they're playing. So. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, fuck you, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, fuck. Nah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to fucking end fine, this goddamn fine. podcast. The, d <laughs> so Goodwin still wants them to figure out whether you say actually has the mark. They haven't managed to make it work so far, but they've come up with a brilliant plan. They need to make you say want a duel. They need to put him in a yeah. situation. They need to put this man in a fucking predicament. So that's exactly what they do. They, they throw him into the maximum security cell block, and they concoct a blatantly unfair scenario where uh, they bring... Uh, what's his fucking face? Ta they bring Tanner in uh, because they accuse him of having... Uh, <clears throat> smuggled magazines in the dub <laughs> they, they throw his in ass into the maximum they don't like security him. yeah um, and <laughs> they also happen to find the old man's deck uh, because they're bringing him into the people that you say he's become close to are uh, now in a situation where they're in danger because Armstrong comes in and goes hey yeah, no, he had an accomplice. If they don't come forward within 24 hours, you're all getting punished. Going from the bit from earlier, uh-oh, they found his bottomless trap hole. What? <laughs> Help! Fill it up. Uh, so, by the way, uh, speaking, of, speaking of hole, uh, Yusei's fucking yeah. cellmate, Alex, oh, shows yeah. him a really neat hole. Yeah, he sure does. Underneath the bed. Uh, the best place for a hole to <laughs> Especially when you're in prison. So you guys we, ever have that uh one that one seat in your school buses that had a hole in it and everyone would take turns. I'm not gonna finish the sentence actually. I'm yeah. Gonna, that, so yeah, but what? What's, uh, moving what are we, on. Uh... Moving on. That's not real. So that can't you be real. you say his new cellmate. This is why you have is. this is why you have Brogby on you because of this. Yeah. This is your punishment. They so, look like the holes. You say his cellmate explains that he has a plan to break out of jail that exact night, and they only get one shot at it. So he he offers to let Yusei come with him, but uh, Yusei is fine with it until given the ultimatum where everyone will be punished, including his new friends in the prison. So he ultimately refuses. Uh, Alex calls him crazy for it, but Yusei insists that he would rather stay and protect the people who need help than to just ditch him. Which, you know. He would he would not be truly free if he left his friends behind. They would be a shackle upon his heart. Yeah. Mad respect for that. 
It's a really cool. He's one. real. He's known these dudes for like two days. He is the he yeah. ride or die. Anytime someone isn't a piece of shit, he's like, all right, all right, we're cool. Real we recognizes this. real, and and real mm -hmm. is uh, <laughs> immediately like, I would die for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, as is the fashion in this universe, he challenges this, this nose hair fucking discount boba bo bastard to to a duel, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the fucking the motherfuckers immediately like, well, you're not you're not gonna have any cards, so it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Uh, you forfeit because you have no cards. Who says I don't got cards? Yeah. It turns so, out uh... every motherfucker in this maximum security prison has just given them. Given him the one card that they managed to smuggle in. Yeah, because everybody yeah, they... has a favorite that they've managed to sneak into the prison somehow or have kept out of the hands of security. <laughs> so I made this. <laughs> it's really good. That is immaculate. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> this meme format has been blowing up the past like week. It, and I was yeah. looking for an excuse to use it. And I'm popping off that I got such a good one. Oh, this is awesome. It's so good. Oh, God. Dude, they, they hid their stuff everywhere. They put it in between a book on a bookshelf. They Behind put one frames. under a toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to that one guy whose favorite spell was Nightmare Steel Cage, by the way. Yeah. Hope uh, he's doing good. Every card has somebody who loves it. Wow, that's Truly. my fetish. Leave me alone. Uh, Thanks, guys. This is perfect. I can make a great deck with... Who gave me a trap trick? <laughs> Which one of you motherfuckers did it? Uh, pretty good. Everybody looks at the guy who submitted his uh, his trap tricks card uh, and just beats the shit out of him for thirty Aniki, minutes. You deserve Aniki, to be do, here, Aniki. How do you have a gun? I'm gonna shoot the trap tricks motherfucker right between the eyes, dude. Hey, wait, is that Drake? <laughs> <laughs> See, when I was making the, that other edit, uh, I really wanted an image of like the cell block from this two parter. But yeah. I couldn't find one online, and I wasn't going to scrub the episode in the middle of recording, so... This I is hate the way I was showing whole. Man, I can't wait for Kendrick to call Drake a Trap Tricks player. Holy shit. Oh my god. Vile, actually. Bet you're not allowed anywhere near a fucking school, Drake. Do you say he's able, able to get this uh, mishmash deck together? And he starts dueling against Armstrong... For the sake of everybody in this cell block. Because the only thing that happens if Yusei loses is that he is stuck there for, you know, the foreseeable future. Uh, no punishments will come to anybody else who is stuck here. And that's why they are so ride or die for him and trusting him with their favorite cards. That's really cool. One of my notes says, thought I pissed myself. Nah, we Gucci fam. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jesus look at Christ. that! Uh, look at that over here. That is correct. He did, in fact, write that. Uh huh. No, I believe Phenomenal. it. I didn't even have to look. I also, uh, I also got really, really uh, angry about this this big guy just like constantly pulling his nose hairs. What about yeah. the uh, Persona Five crossover? What? what? Phantom what? Thief? <laughs> mm. Are you in another goddamn dimension? No, he's right. No, there, there was, was a Phantom Thief. You still on There's a card called Phantom, Phantom Thief. Card. If a Phantom Sorry, Thief was the first monster you say played oh, in this duel. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You get to oh, live right. I'm talking with him. He's like, the one time I, I point out a card that actually showed up, you guys won't want to fucking talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, no. Get it here. So, you say's given a duel disc, and they're both changed to the fucking ground. That that mm. surely won't fucking come into play. Oh, yep. no. You say took fucking life point damage and got his shit electrocuted. Yeah, the, the way they set it up, uh, at least in the sub, is that Armstrong says, yeah, and uh, these chains, uh, they'll only detach after, you know, they'll only detach for the person who survives. And he's like, what the fuck does that mean? And he's like, don't you worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then basically goes, yeah, the, the volts on you taking life points will be so high that by the time you hit zero, you will possibly just be dead. It's yeah, not that... even like the Yu-Gi-Oh GX shit where it's like it's gonna really hurt bad. And like, then uh, no, you will, you you might be dead on one. Yeah. And then uh, you say you know deals damage to him, and you see the electricity starting to kick on, and he just goes, oh, 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 oh just kidding. Yeah, he sure does do that because of course, as we all know, cops don't play fair. His shit's not plugged in, 
And if you're a cop, fucking... I do not respect you, and I will fuck your wife at some point. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> grilling, bro, for doing Jesus. this, and he's just like, nah, what are you talking fuck about? You. This must be so, broken. This surely isn't a thing I Go beat up a did. fucking teenager on a college campus, you fucking freak. No, they shouldn't do that like, either. Stones. They're like, they this do duel that. doesn't count, then. He's like, dude, I just added the stipulation. We were always going to duel. <laughs> we don't need to turn off anything. <laughs> Never have the moment of, are we the baddies? Come on. So, Armstrong's deck is an Iron Chain deck which focuses on milling your opponent's deck while also inflicting burn damage for some reason. Yep. <laughs> what Whatever reason? gets you to it, I guess. Uh, yeah, the, what reason? It's just because... To win the game. In this case, it's just because they wanted an excuse to torture you, say, in the anime. Yeah, of course. Weird. Dude, he's got some pipes. He is screaming. He is he's not having really a good fucking, time. He's going. Yeah. It really makes me upset that this fucking sack of shit is the one that uses the iron chains because iron chains are like really cool. Yeah, I. Yeah, you, get to, really? you get to watch it go. Oh, this is this is who got to use this shit. The boss yeah. monster of uh, the chain archetype is so fucking cool, and I have that card still from high school, and I'm so mad. It's this bitch. Why yeah. is you're like, this oh, it's the nose hair ace card. That's crazy. Ugh. This sucks. Iron Chain Repairman shows up looking like he's a, a, a fucking dude from the 90s Mario movie, and he, he rocks you say shit with his big ass hammer. Uh. I want to see I want to see you say and that guy, the Iron Chain Repairman, just like doing the fucking Goomba dance in the elevator. <laughs> that would be funny, yeah. Just shimmy a little bit. Hell yeah. A little bit. 9 11. Um, 9 11. I, I really I... love getting to. Go ahead. Go ahead, Shora. No, I, I just I really love seeing the tiny little snippets of this mix match deck that Yusei has been given every time he has his cards milled. Because, like, at one point there was a trihorn dragon in that deck. Yeah. It's yep. wild. Yeah, that's why I'm like, first two sets of the show, that's all this prison's got. My horn's really cool. Oh, yeah, it's sick. I, I like that card. But it's uh, just one of like, my, uh, these are the cards that they have over here. One of my last notes here is, uh, I want this hippo of a heifer to fall off the ledge and die, not fly, dash in the ground, big pound, high and welcome to high and welcome to high. And... Of course. <laughs> okay, uh, dude. Phenomenal. Yeah. What's up? We're watching 5Ds. We're not watching Rocco's Modern Life. Why are you talking about Heifer right now? Shit, I'm getting I mean, stressed you got out. Me. I'm oh, getting scared. Shout out to the I need kick to summon man. a monster. <laughs> Makes me laugh now every time we pause. <laughs> Just imagine KZ losing it. Well, I know that we usually don't bring up chat, but someone in chat make, makes a really good point. The camera should make sure to show us you say has Trihorn Dragon, but he just uses his Call of the Haunted on the Kickman instead. <laughs> yeah. He Shout out to does. Bro. Bro fucking rules. This is the I image the kick of man. the Kickman on the Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki. It's just somebody just... pointing to him kicking, and I think that's <laughs> it's awesome. Yusei, it's you say I think, using him cool. in this episode. It's so funny. Yeah. It's so they funny. fucking got the frame out for now, it. Obviously, you say it's going to go for him. He has an effect. He can equip for all, something for to all himself. For you know, there's a Wojak happening on that. And they've just <laughs> obscured it. Uh, now, I need someone to draw the pointing Wojak at the Kickman, but the Kickman is about to literally kick their shit in in the background. I really need this. I... I I, I am almost certain if he summoned Trihorn Dragon, I think that duel would be mostly done. Yeah. yeah. No, almost Just definitely. thinking about it, it takes him a while to get a strong monster on the field because the, the main dragon doesn't come out till the very end. He would not have held together. Oh, yeah. But uh, if if Bro had lost immediately, we wouldn't get the sweet, sweet revenge. Oh, yes. So. Oh, the, yeah. The duel continues for a bit. Uh, Armstrong is able to break through Yusei's uh defenses and able to withstand what attacks he can try to make um and you know it's not going great for you say it's a little bit fucked uh he's he's kind of being locked down and mo a lot of his deck is just being sent directly to the grave without ever hitting the field but um at a certain point his old bunkmate gets out of the prison He's ready to go. His man on the outside has the signal up and ready, but he's like, 
God fucking damn it. If I if I leave him in there, I'm not a real one. I gotta be a real yeah. one. So he, he doubles He made some good that. points. He did. Yeah, you say kind of spitting. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. Yep. So bro is on the outside. He breaks back in and decides to go to the like security room or the control hub for all of the uh all the shit in the building. He sets bro's um dual disc that was off to on and then he breaks the system so they can't forcibly turn it off That's and it's so, so cool. he gets caught doing this but it's so good such a good moment yeah, yeah the dude finally takes some damage and the lightning goes in they're like look at him playing it and they're like wait a minute <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, there's actually smoke coming out of his ears. Uh, Casey, I am going to I'm going to need you to read uh, a specific note here that I have. All right, can you can you look control plus a few times so I can see it? Oh, uh, yes, of course. So. Yeah. But I I will read the following note here. Ooh, I am gonna gut you like a pig, bro. I'm gonna make you squeal like the little hog you are, grilling you up fatty parts as yummy bacon, little piggy boy. Thank Sorry, you, I went to a dark place for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, media next time. Right. Uh, also, the note before the ooh die drop was bro just fucking leave you don't know you say shit you met him yesterday <laughs> yeah really it's like you don't owe him this, nothing that's really on par with us at the end of a gx set going i hope i hope right dies of poison <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm like i'm glad he didn't leave but also you don't owe him shit you can just go <laughs> like I'm, I'm i'm glad you're a bro but you you literally could you've you've got no stakes here. If he if yeah, he they, got out of there and left you say to his fate, that would haunt bro for the rest of his life. He would never be able to live as a free man knowing I, what I'd he did. be able to fucking see. He, he would like he would like keep up with the news going, What's the status of that guy and, and learning Oh just, execution he huh? just remain there? Yeah, he, it's he never got out. Oh they hung him. Yeah, could have been the difference maker. They like they haul his ass back to the duel arena after they capture him in that in the uh in the in the, the the power room. And he goes, Alright, you're fucked. I'm gonna kill you as soon as this duel's over. He's like, Hey. You say he's like, if I win, make him fine too. May don't punish him either. He's like, Fine. But I will also kill him <laughs> if, yep. if you lose. Yeah. We will just we will just tack on the stipulation. And now everything's just gonna go directly into uh into Yusei's direction now that he can fuck with him by actually dealing damage. Oh yeah. Making him scared. Dude so, he got dude took damage from exiled force. Yeah. He sure did. What is, your, what is your mouse cursor? <laughs> it's like it's like Tron. That's oh. awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like give it pulses it's with lights and shit. It's cool. Alright. So at this point in the duel, when the shocks come back on and bro's hauled in and told that he will also die if Yusei loses, Yusei has honor life points, no cards in his deck, and no hope. But, because most of Yusei's cards have been milled, he can pull off the strategy he's been waiting for. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's very good. Strat. Because there are security cameras all over this place. Of course there are. It's a prison. And of course, yeah. Mr. Nosehair has been cheating by having his guys look at the security feed and tell uh, him all of Yusei's cards. I didn't know that. I missed that part. They point that's that crazy. out near the what end. Oh, that's, crazy. that's fucking nuts, dude. Uh, that's crazy. So I can't believe cops would do that. I can't. You, Yusei just <laughs> simply pulls the out out of his glove where the cameras couldn't see it and bro is flabbergasted he's, he's got like, some sick like huh? hand plays that was some bandit keith ass like so yeah. shit wild going on there. yeah that's awesome past this line of hand check easy got a nat 20 on it i like it because there's there's like the the smallest sliver of sleaze factor do you say that i really that i really like he's sharking people i swear he rides that it's fine really line. good it's very mm -hmm. good I, I love it. Helps, it helps make it so he doesn't feel shoes. entirely like um it, it helps him make not entirely feel like Yami Yugi entirely the yeah. whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, it helps that. But what were you saying, Shore? 
Oh, I just I love a I love a protagonist who's not a goody two shoes. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I, instead of like, oh, can we stop fighting, guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to like, fight I'll like handle this? this. I try, I'm not, I'll make you fall on your ass. <laughs> Definitely I'll not part of the reason you. why I couldn't get through Zeal. Yeah. I'll electrocute you. Uh, Dang. Uh, so... I hope you're cooked through. Come get your slop, fellas. We're having honey roasted ham for a few weeks. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, well. Yeah! You say summons Rubble King and uses the effect to drop Blasting the Ruins, which, uh, you know, because you say has more than 30 cards in his grave um kills him it fucking kills bro he's he's fucking done uh also, isn't that the last card in his deck too yes, yeah. it is the actual yeah. last card if that had gotten sent to the Thank grave at any point Christ, the dude. strat would have been dead however you say is simply that good did not know that there was a card that was meant to send shots of blasting the ruins until this episode oh, it's so good it's a little crazy that dude gets cooked, literally. So, when the duel is done, Armstrong is like, no, fuck you, I didn't make a deal with you, die. Uh, and he he's trying to send Yusei and, uh, and his accomplice off to be killed. And then Goodwin shows up uh, with, with his white savior complex and goes, no, fuck you, you're the lying sack of shit, nobody can trust you. I'm going to fucking get you out of here. This white savior complex. <laughs> well, yeah, he has a savior complex with Jack too. I know and you're he's right. in the fucking Illuminati. Just... Of course, he has a white savior it's complex. So fucking funny how real that is. <laughs> you know, you you are right. He does have that fucking scene where he just goes, "I'm just about upholding." You know, I'm I'm over these two areas, and I'm, I'm willing to burn one of them down to save the one I like. You people need me and what I have. Yeehaw, man. You could, you could tell that this dude was so pissed. He had to take off his hat to show how bald he is. This yeah. dude would fucking... God, Goodwin would fucking like let a plane full of people crash and burn. Yeah. I don't know why. I just got the mental image of Goodwin being one of those types of people who's like, You say, did you know that I'm 10% Peruvian? Uh, I did an ancestry test and everything. He would. Ugh. I'm 1% Incan on my great 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 grandfather's side. So. I like looking at the wikis of these shows so I can get a better, like, description of the dub stuff. And for Armstrong, it goes, however, Rex Godwin stops him revealing that he watched the duel and was disappointed in him, telling him to leave. Parentheses, in the dub, good. He he fired him because he abused his position. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we had to put a line in there to be like we definitely did care about the fact that he was evil, <laughs> not that he was a loser. Yep. So at the end of all this, uh, all of Yusei's new ride or die homies wish him well because he is going off to follow Goodwin <laughs> into Neo Domino and what the fuck? That's awesome. That's awesome. Hold on, I gotta fucking pull that what? up on on the big screen. Uh, I've been sent. <laughs> The exact Dude. image I crave. Thank you, Hatsune Marvin. Let's go. That's awesome. Dude, is that fucking Kickman? Holy shit, yeah. it's Kickman, bro. Dude, it's Kickman fucking Kickman. looks Kick like Man. the type of dude who just dies in an episode of JoJo. <laughs> yes, correct. He, he looks like a background character smiling for an episode. Did you spot him? <laughs> yeah. God. There he is. In, oh. There he is crawling out of the fucking uh, background of Smiling Friends out of a dumpster. Um, Pim explains how good ew, life ew. is. Ew, ew, ew. Uh, ew, ew, ew. Yusei is wishing his friends uh, uh, well as they see him off, and the old man insists that Yusei take a, a new card. Uh, and yeah. it is Totem Pole, which I think he used in the duel where he was using the old man's deck. You see, it's so funny, Shora, that you said that he keeps specifically the pole in his ass. Because I, my final note, or one of my final notes is, ew, dog, no, keep this nasty-ass card. It smells like your doo-doo feces. Jesus Christ. Okay, that, you know, he did, in fact, write that. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I, I believe it. I don't have to look at it. Meanwhile, Tanner uh, looks at Yusei and just goes, no, I want you to have this. He gives him giant Ushioni. Yusei should be offended by this. But instead, really Tanner continues be. to talk 
and mentions that uh, he can use it as a bargaining chip to help get his dual runner back because that's been impounded. Go order yourself a glass of milk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So presumably he will be doing that next time. I can't wait. I already have a shitty edit in mind. But when he goes to leave, because mm -hmm. Goodwin's letting him leave, mm -hmm. the fucking cop shows up again. What's up, yeah, Trudge? they got. Oh no! You know they, what? They, they, got, they, they zoom out. They zoom out. They pan. He's watching. He takes off that helmet to reveal that a couch fell on him and ripped his entire fucking face <laughs> off. It's so funny. He has such a massive. He has the kind of scar you get at the end of a war arc in an anime, uh -huh. but it was because he fell on yeah. garbage. It is so I wrote, funny. My, my very final note was, ah, ha, 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 ha. You got scarred by a fucking 16-year-old fucking loser. Imagine sucking so bad. You should end it all. Wow. Rose fucking cooked. So who's excited for another trudge duel? <laughs> I'm excited to watch um, Trudge get owned a third time, presumably in oh, a more violent be... way this third time. Uh, I'm oh, very... <laughs> there will be an open manhole after the dual runner fucking runs out of gas. And uh, you, just, be great. you just hear a cartoon falling noise and then the sick cracking of like six different bones <laughs> as he hits the... the ground. What they should do is what they did in the uh, 2003 Ninja Turtles cartoon and make him like Baxter Stockman every time he'll duel you say... And every single time he loses a body part <laughs> oh god, or some other visual injury is there progressively, he'll be an eyeball in a tank by the end of this. Ugh. But he's got Goyo Guardian. He sure he sure does have Goyo Guardian, and that's all he really has, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, the whole um the whole concept was that Godwin is talking to uh to, to Jaeger the clown going, it's like yeah, I let him out, but I'm not letting him be free. We're gonna watch him the whole way. Yeah, we we I got dudes. Forget that. Yeah, he's like, there's no way the cider power is going to come out through the people that he duels in that prison. We need to, we need to cultivate this. We need to get him another challenge in some way. I always forget that Lazar's fucking sub name is Jaeger. Jesus yeah. Christ. Love that guy. He 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 does a funny laugh. He looks horrible. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. looks terrible. It's like if you fused uh, Crowler and Bonaparte together. Ugh. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got paid for this last week. <laughs> yeah, no, remember last episode where we were saying, hey, sure, we'll draw this if you send enough money, and people sent enough money. <laughs> so here it is. You know, you know, I seem to recall the sketch of that. I got flashbanged by it earlier, and I got scared. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, right. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, man. The people. Uh, if you recall, <laughs> we, we said you would be drawn as this clown uh, two weeks ago, and people just... immediately threw that money, like, fucking within 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah, like, within oh, a minute, we had okay. enough money to that. fund the I art. So. That's wild. Uh, you know, I I also don't like acknowledging shit. What the fuck is that thing in, in your chat right now? It's it's an edit of Rem Lazar from <laughs> creating Rem Lazar, but it's it's Lazar from Five Ds. That is such an incredibly it. deep cut. It's it really, really fucking is. funny. <laughs> Love the Rem Lazar. I, I watched that movie. Did you know that's a pre nine eleven movie? I sure learned that after watching Let's it. Let's go. People. Stuart Not Little 2. 9-11, sure dude. Mario Bros. movie. King Koopa d turns the towers evil. Oh, yeah, no! It's so true! Oh, fuck. If I, we should watch if that. If I remember correctly, should we, that, that night was a double feature of fucking Rem Lazar and The Room. It sure right? was. Yeah. <laughs> no, Why do you guys hate those, those so Those are much. the two movies we watched back to back for that. Ugh. I, I love when I see, like, the, the, the group watches that you'll do with, like, G, where I'll see, like, G come in first, and I go, that's weird. Why the fuck would they ever watch that? And then I see the rest of them come in. Yeah, because we, we spin a wheel for uh, themes, and we let people be sickos. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh God. There, there is a reason that I, I do this with a small group. Uh, <laughs> because if we let too many people be sickos with their choices, it would not work out. <laughs> so anyway, last, the last time, time we I did a theme, it was bald. Yeah, and I picked Beastly, and it was funny. Best embrace Ugh. the suck. Yeah, group watches are, are important. Ari was excited for our X-Men one until I told them that it's 13 films and not five. 
Yeah, Harry oh. was also excited to watch all of MILF Manor season two, but still hasn't shown up for a single fucking episode. <laughs> that is very funny. I, I remember I here's, watched. Here's the lore, Shibuya. Yeah. Harry was there for the first episode. Carl wasn't and put it in his media thread anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I pretended mean... <laughs> that he did watch it to upset the people that did watch it. Considering oh, how many shit. live tweets I was seeing during that first episode, uh, I felt like I had also watched it vicariously, so I should probably put that on That's my media thread right. also. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I just wanted to make sure that I could tell Ari that Ari was not there when she very clearly was. Can we take this well, off well, the screen? You are right on the second one, at least. No, right, we're, no, right. I think we can stick this for a while. No, I'll, I'll put the kick jack like back him. on for now. Thank uh, you. So, kick. hey, everyone. What were your least favorite card and play of the set? Does anybody specifically uh, want to go first? There is a correct answer for least favorite card, by the way. Okay. Uh, what is it then, Brave It's fucking giant Ushioni. Well, what's wrong that's with him? That's fair. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> he fucking sucks. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, we know. Uh, wow, I hate that giant Ushioni. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Hate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta you be kidding it. me. <laughs> That's awesome. You're like, you're like, what the fuck is this? I guess I wrote this. Like, Finally, <laughs> Bio's hate is targeted at something accurate and not just <laughs> Bubble Man. Oh, man. That's funny. Finally. That's happened. like that, that spider thing, right? Yes, Fucking that is that. like the, the half spider, uh, yeah, half what, yeah. bull. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> you did it. I'm just proud. I'm honestly, that was great. And then uh, my least favorite play was the old man who collected all these uh, rare and unique cards, having a deck that cohesively makes these rare and unique cards work and then not knowing his own strategy with his own deck. It must have been pre-built. He must have been lying at some point, because how do you not know how to effectively use your cards if they're, it's this coherent? Well, he was That's just collecting right. them. He wasn't going to use them. No, but he, he, he has cards that synergize with each other for these. Yeah, no, he's he's old and senile and can't read. That's fair. I hadn't considered he like He liked the picture and he liked the historical significance. He's like a Pokemon TCG player. He doesn't play the fucking game. He just collects the cards. Yeah, so just like me. Dude, for, I yeah. almost bought cards at a public like three <laughs> days ago. I was Holy like, shit. it's right there on the fucking thing next to the Coke aisle. Should I, should I just grab these? Man, I've yeah, considered pretty getting picture. back in, but uh, after hunting that Charizard, I need to stop. It's bad. Yeah. Uh, Got that... a yes, the supermarket just had it. They all have Yu-Gi-Oh! because Yu-Gi-Oh! players are fucked up, and they will rob that store. But oh, yeah. Pokemon yeah. They got them hanging everywhere. No, I, yeah. I, I very rarely go to my local Walmart, uh, but when I do, uh, usually you'll see just boxes of stuff. Uh, empty. Empty packs. Man, you know they what makes me upset? They just ripped it open and left. Hmm. Fucking Medi got really close with the card guy at his Walmart. And I was so excited because I was like, ah, I could get some discounts on cards. And then the guy left. So now he's got to get in with the new guy. I'm upset. Could have gotten up. cards for cheap a little early. What anyway. a dick. Do, do people want to share their least favorite card? Oh, I'll tell you mine. Yeah, go ahead. Um, my least favorite card was Kick Man. I think he was ugly, actually, and I hated him. Yeah, he's right over Hold there. On. I can respect you, the work he put in. Look how ugly he is. <laughs> yeah, I can respect the work he put in, yeah, but I don't have to respect pointing. it. Hold on. Hold on. I thought you just put up text over it that was like Kick calling him me in the out. head. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. No. Uh, have, have you noticed <laughs> that part part of Carl's clothes made the Wojak look like it had a bigger mouth when you had it first? Like it was lined up perfectly with his like left side. God. It was like, I was like, Ew, he's got like Joker mouth or some shit. It's not good. <laughs> uh, That's great. I hate that laugh, actually. And uh, my least favorite play was uh, that you say shouldn't have won with a random pile deck. Like, come on, dog. There's got to be some consistency here. Sick. Worst play. Fuck? The fact that he won it all. <laughs> hey, Bridget, I can make I... that number four. Hi, look at that. Bridget. <laughs> no, yeah, Bridget hasn't Bridget. seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. So is this, so is this going to be like the the image you use whenever Bio isn't speaking? Um, yeah. I mean, I could. <laughs> that could be a thing I do. So so it's like they be they become a bit more like I'm gonna throw excited up. whenever <laughs> whenever they're out there. But a lot Encourage of moves Bio in chat. to speak and to discuss more by having that be his mouth closed. Off I will never shut up. You guys will never hear me stop talking because I will just keep 
talking and keeping my sprite up so I don't have to see that. You, you in fact, will boot up uh, 14 raids and you're like, hey guys, I'm doing call outs on, the, on this. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that I get call outs on Bloons, Damn. Tower Defense, and Cookie Run and 14 in the middle of uh, in, trying to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Out, oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. I should open bread. Oh, Check God, out. this is fucked. I've watched Raiders. I, I know all of these. Uh, they oh, always Lord, say it in uh, the exact same tone, too. Yeah. I haven't done my fucking least favorite. I'll just fucking. The Ushioni. I don't care which one. Least favorite play was probably fucking sacrificing an Ushioni for a bigger Ushioni. It was just kind of dumb. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect that. They're like, what if Ushioni was also like the stupid spider I also picked? Hey, if Ushioni's because so we... good, where's Ushioni 2? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Now it's got <laughs> spider legs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Uh, from from now on, when I see people say you should make an edit, and I look at it and go, I don't want to make that edit. I'm just gonna put in fucking money. I'm just gonna put an amount in the chat. That's insane. All right. Well. Yeah, that work. That works way better. That's uh, how we do business here. KZ, did you say your least favorite yet? Or? Uh, I've I've been thinking about my least favorite card for a bit because okay. I didn't want to pick like a I didn't want to pick like a double of anything. That's fair. Uh, I'm gonna have to say it's it's probably gonna be the Crystal Skull. Because we already have a guy who used skulls in this show already. <laughs> That's that, that dude featured here again. Yeah. So it's just like every fodder guy has to have some some like skull related thing. Worst play, you say summoning Kickman because it means that he did not summon the Trihorn Dragon in his graveyard. Objectively, that it probably is the worst play of the duel, but I have nothing but respect for my guy Kickman. He thinks he's on the team and he thinks he's doing great. I was going to give you say some rope, honestly, where it's like, oh, maybe it's like, because they, because you can't like see into the graveyard, or at least they've never shown how you can. Yeah. So it's like, oh, he's just, he's just milling stuff. So he didn't see it until he goes, but you didn't know that you made me mill acts of despair. And I went, never mind. Lock <laughs> it in. Dip yeah. shit. It is very funny. If this were like a modern Yu-Gi-Oh series, I could make the argument of, well, maybe it was milled face down because that's a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that was mechanic shit. Um, all right, favorite card play. Who wants to go first? Did Bio say his I, least favorite card in play? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. I I got this. Uh, fucking to to piggyback off of KZ here. Surprisingly, my favorite card of this was. I just think that it's fucking neat. I I think the Crystal Skull's kind of nifty. It's a bad card, but it's neat. It Looks is fun. a little funny, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's bad. I'm just like, stop copying him. If I had a favorite fucking play, I honestly can't fucking remember it at this point. So I'm just going to go with the Blasting the Ruins shit, because goddamn. That's bad. funny. That's valid. I respect that. I liked the Fandom Thief, because it reminded me of Persona 5. Fair. Yeah. What about plays? Oh no idea. I go. I get away from Jordan. I still have to deal with Persona Five. This <laughs> sucks, dude. Jordan likes Persona Five. <laughs> oh my god! He has god. a wall for it. All right. Jesus. I have never. What's your favorite play? I let him borrow two hundred dollars so he could get the Royal Special Edition. <laughs> oh my god! That's awesome. Bio, what a Bio, What about your uh, favorite play? When you shut up. Okay. All right. That is, you know, that is an awesome play. It ends every problem. <laughs> uh, I guess. I no, I'm not know. hurt, bro. I, don't I can't. I, I, get, I don't know. When you say you did like a switch. You did his little. <laughs> sure, little we'll count that. Hey. Did <laughs> what? Like I'm not even trying to communicate on any level. I'm not even trying to be cruel on this one. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You say like, did you like, like a switch. Like... Whatever. Whatever. You know, when you say did the switch and then it did the click and then the Paper Mario had a trailer. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Carl, what were your favorite card in play? Uh, my favorite card is Iron Chain Dragon, because it's just a good card. I like it. And that's fair. It's a cool one. Yeah. My favorite play. That's my MC winning with a pile deck. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Wasn't that also we your least favorite? Some shit. All my fellas. 
Oh my god. Ooh, wow. All my fellows. Wait, why do I know that song? Memes. What is that? Oh. Memes. Yeah, it, it People was. People used it for when that memes. Mario RPG remake came out. They'd Very do good. it on like the level up screen. They're all dancing. Mm-hmm. All my fellows. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, KZ, what are your favorite card in play? That Red Dragon Archfiend's pretty good. That's oh, fair. yeah. He, he, he pay popped up, ruined that dude's life. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll go for that. I don't, I don't want to be the guy that says large Uchioni or some shit. That'd be crazy. That'd be <laughs> that, 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 that would not, that probably would not be advisable. I guess uh, my favorite play was just seeing him do the, uh, what are they, artifacts or whatever? The, the, the Yanagi's yeah. deck. Ha- having, yeah. him, having him play the map that lets him destroy all cards in the field and reverse the effect damage. <laughs> Yeah. That way they could show like the full brunt of what it, what a deck strategy was. I thought that was pretty alright. Carl, you alright? You alright? I'll take that as a no. Carl? Uh we're probably I was just to... doing it for Chad. Chad is also concerned for Carl's well being. Okay. Well, I was just I got up to grab Doritos. Ah, uh, okay. You made a weird them. noise on your way out, probably. And it startled for the, nothing the but respect for the podcast. Opening the bag of chips into the mic—that's awesome. I wasn't. I wasn't opening a bag of chips into the mic. I was putting it on the side for after when we were done. Okay, well, you can I'm not that rude. The, you can wait to get the chips until we're done. Well, I wasn't expecting to get asked the question. All right. Well, okay, I, guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll go. I guess I'll start ordering food. Hold on. All right. My favorite card was uh, I. I like Iron Chain Dragon, but now it's been ruined for me by being associated with the bro who. Pulls so out. It, uh, it's blasting the ruins. That combo was funny, and my favorite play was when he blasted those ruins, dude. They got blasted so hard. It was so funny. All oh, the fucking rocks go into that dude. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh. All right, well, that'll just about do it for uh, for this batch of episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. We survived another week. Can That's right, you baby. Believe it. Drew, you if this was else? GX, we would have been in that place for a season. <laughs> You'd be there for 12 episodes just going, one of these days we're going to do Prison Break, the Fox TV That's... show. That's crazy. Get out of here. That's awesome. All right. Uh, our next batch of episodes that we're going to be watching are episodes 11 through 14. And that's going to be on June 1st, because in two weeks, uh, multiple people who host this podcast are going to be out of town. So we'll we'll do the podcast yeah. that next week when we're all back. And we is going to murder me in real life at Combo Breaker. Yeah, there's a chance. Wait, you guys are all going to Combo what? Breaker? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, a lot of people from various circles are heading down there. And I would like to thank our host for not going well since we can't do it in the next two weeks we'll do it immediately <laughs> now, now there like, are some like, times oh, no. where i'll make that compromise because i know shit's coming up in advance nothing's coming up in advance here we're good we can we can afford to push mm-hmm. it back an extra week <laughs> yep uh, all right well uh is there anything we'd like to say to the the audience before i do the outro read yeah y'all should check out nishi's though i love this funny little pink elephant Huh? Okay, awesome, so dude. I need you to know, Carl. I'm yeah. just buzzed enough that you've been playing the video, and occasionally the wind is loud enough that it hits the microphone of the camera, and it scares me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, does someone go outside? What the fuck is going on? That's awesome. <laughs> fuck you and your elephant video. Oh, you know what else is good? Yeah. What? Fuck yeah, dude. Let's give it a Fortnite, dude. Good night, everybody. Alright. It'll be better next time. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I I think this was a good one. Thank you all for listening to the Millennium Microphone. It is absolutely mind-blowing how much support uh, you guys have shown the podcast over the past four years now. Uh, And once again, this would not be possible without you guys, uh, without everybody who listens, everybody who shares, everybody who looks forward to every single episode. And, you know, since we're still relatively new on the schedule, this is your reminder once again that now all live recordings, instead of being at 2 p.m. on Saturday, uh, they will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Remember that. That is important. I I will still tweet out when we're going live, so, you know, if you skip to that ad break but you're here, follow us on fucking Twitter, at Millennium Mike. Still trying to figure out a good, clean outro for this, and I'm struggling, so, uh, you know. 
<laughs> See you next duel.